गेम देखने का इतना लोड तो करना रूटर डाउनलोड सेवन करोर गेमर्स एंड स्ट्रीमर्स आर ऑन रूटर वेर आर यू गेम देखने का इतना लोड तो कर ना रूटर डाउनलोड सेवन करोर गेमर्स एंड स्ट्रीमर्स आर ऑन रूटर वेर आर यू गेम देखने का इतना लोड तो कर ना रूटर डाउनलोड सेवन करोर गेमर्स एंड स्ट्रीमर्स आर ऑन रूटर वेर आर यू लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम to uh the PUBG Mobile Gamers Grand Rumble South Asia qualifier day number 1 so this is this, this is your caster Vinci together with Torix and we're going to be delivering you the, uh, guys some exciting matches for today so this is one of the two days of South Asia qualifiers and uh, you know the teams here Torix are you, are you excited for tonight Oh, definitely. I am so excited for tonight because it is just the start of the South Asia qualifiers. All the team that were in the PMSL during that time, they are once again going to compete. This is not only just going to be a great practice for you, but also a great opportunity for us to cast for them and the audience to once again see them shine. But remember this thing, Wins, that it is two days of the South Asia qualifiers that's going to happen. And during these two days, a total of six matches each day will be played. The team, they don't have that much like time to like take their lead, take their charges against each other. So they have to do, if they have to do anything, they have to do it really quickly. Of course, they need to rake up points as early as they can. They have to dominate in the first day, of course. Let's look at the event calendar here. South Asia qualifiers today and tomorrow. And of course, the next, uh, the upcoming days is going to be Southeast Asia qualifiers. And then we're going to be having a one day break before we head over to the league stage. And then after that, it's going to be an exciting grand finals here. May 30 up to, I, I mean, April 30th up to May 3, it's going to be a really, really good grand final for us to see. So, as you've said, for South Asia qualifiers, they need to get points because we're talking about 10,000 US dollar prize pool because the, the champion here will be getting half of it 5,000 US dollars, oh. and then it goes down half 2,500 US dollars, 1,000 US dollars for the third placer. Fourth placer will be getting 500. Fifth to sixth placer will be getting 250. And let's not forget the MVP will also get 500 US dollars. Oh, definite. But those juicy 50% of the prize pool that's being distributed to the number one, you need that spot. You need that position to get all the major amount of prize pool to your name. But still, the rest of the division is still good. There's still the MVP that's going to receive individually the 500. Remember this, number four, on the hashtag number four, the team that will reside there is going to get a complete 500 USD, whereas the MVP, the one with the most valued during the whole game, is just going to receive individually $500. But today and tomorrow, the South Asia Qualifiers teams are on our screen. It is Team Falcon, Stronger Esports. There is Stalwarts, Raw, Regicide, T2, K, Mad Bulls, KSX Axe, IHC, Hora, GG, DRS, ASAGI8, A1TMT, 52 Esports, and last but not the least, it is for Miracle Vibes. Wow, this is exciting. We've known a lot of these teams. They are now the, they they are trying to to prove them their worth in South Asia. And as you have said, they have already joined the Super League, so that means. This is going to be a really, really great experience for them to at least uh, show their power, show how, how great they are when it comes to playing PUBG Mobile. So in, in Gamers Grand Rumble, so this is going to be a showcase for them to to shine. And uh, we're talking about uh, not just the prize pool, but also the, the bragging rights to become the champion here. Oh, definite. The bragging rights, uh, the prize pool, it's just a motivation. The major thing is that you will be the crown champion. You will have something to brag about for the other teams that, yes, 
you won this much and this tournament for yourself but yes top 10 teams will be qualifying onto the next stage the league stage from the south asia and southeast asia so maybe in the uh, like the league stages we are either gonna see the round robin or 20 teams in total going against each other but those are the factors those are the things uh, the questions uh, for another time for the league stage uh, for today these teams that we just went through they're gonna be going against the rumble and remember this uh, let me tell you the map rotation there are going to be three wrangles uh, back to back so teams will have the best chance uh, of like securing those uh, momentums for themselves in the Erangle, then we will be switching to the Sandhawk, a really fast paced map, and right after the one Sandhawk match that we're gonna witness today wins, it is going to be two Morale Mars back to back, so from normal pace to the fast pace, the complete slow pace, how the teams are gonna react to this, uh, this is the bigger question. Actually, that is very interesting because some of these teams are quite used to start in Sandhawk. Yeah. And we're going to be starting with three Aragel maps. So for all those who just tune in, Aragel is one of the uh, the OG maps, as uh, as I can call it. You know, they, uh, a lot of these players already played a lot of map, uh, a lot of uh, Aragels in their lifetime. So probably they're, they're quite used to this kind of map. So it's going to be... It's not going to be hard for them to adjust, but it's all about who are they going to be against with. It's going to be who are they facing because this is what I love about PUBG Mobile here, Torix. It's it's quite random because not all the time it favors you. You just have to adjust where the, cir the, the circle goes. You just have to adjust where the, the flight plan is going. You just have to adjust which, whichever, whoever teams uh, are there in front of you. You just have to show. Whether you're getting that chicken dinner or not, you need to be consistent at this. because one wrong match or two wrong matches might just mean that you might not be able to qualify to the next stage. Because you need to be into the top 10 and you only have 12 matches, every team will have the like equal opportunity to like proceed, to get the points, to secure them and take their position into the top 10. It is going to be a way much chaotic situation, let me tell you, Vince, because just two days and 12 matches in total is going to bring either the destructive forces of the team or it's going to bring out the complete passiveness. We're going to see complete passiveness from all the team's possibilities. Yeah. I'm I'm quite curious on uh, how are some of these teams are gonna play this out. You know, some of these teams, as as I've observed in different leagues, some of them start way passive. They, they started yeah. slow. They, they they don't get points. They just wanted to maintain like a couple of five ten points per map. So mm -hmm. probably they're not creating so much noise. But you know, when it comes to the last six maps or the second day around they are shining they're, they're just popping off they're trying to overtake each and everybody to become the best or to become the number one or you know to make it to the top 10 so we cannot underestimate the teams are who, who are just trying to at least uh make a name out of themselves they're just trying to i believe that they're they're, they're trying to analyze uh their opponents and uh probably from that other day they, they, uh they'll finally adjust and at the same time they're going to be overtaking the other team. So I'm quite excited to see how they play out all throughout these matches. Or are they going to play passive? That's the question. But I have a question. I have a different question for you. And uh, my question is, uh, do you support any team right now from this lobby for today? And your predictions uh, on top of that. I want to know your prediction for today's matches because... Uh, these are the known teams that have proven themselves back-to-back -to -back from the tournament to tournament. We have seen them like uh, making a huge comeback uh, or even give out sometimes the comeback to different teams uh, at some point. So my question to you is for which team do you think might be having a better chance for today's matches? This is quite, that question is quite interesting, <laughs> you know, because some of these teams 
and they they already proven themselves before. Yeah. You know, Team Falcons. Even though that they're new in South Asia scene, but the, the players oh, they're just yeah. veterans. You know, they're they're veterans in the scene. The former Star Esports players now trying to at least uphold the the banner of Team Falcons. Star Esports with their new members, of course. I IHG Esports is there as well. We cannot underestimate that, of course. ASX AGIA. So for American Virus is also in the equation. So that that yeah. question is, is quite hard. But for me, <laughs> in this map alone, I'm gonna put my my money on probably DRS to get the chicken dinner. How about yours? I am going with my regional team, the one and only. Everyone knows that ASAGI8. Ooh. So, ooh, let's see, let's see which team will have the winner chances, or is it going to be a different team, completely different team uh, that we actually selected to get that winner winner chicken dinner? That is the question that we will know once we will be going into the game. But don't worry, guys. Soon, soon, it's not that much more time that we're gonna take from you guys we're gonna go game really really shortly so stay with us make sure you hit that like button if you haven't done so subscribe and remember this after the third match the whole stream will be shifting towards the router so if you haven't downloaded router this is the time this is the time because the action hasn't started yet go download router the link is in the description as well I agree, guys. The, if you if you remember what Tori said, if you if you seen the uh, the video before we started, you know, Router is one uh, that platform that you you can rely on when it comes to to live streaming games. And uh, we're be, we're gonna be shifting uh, uh, the half of this map uh, towards Router. So if you're if you didn't download it yet, probably this is the best time for you to download now. If you haven't registered, then try to register. Uh, as well as early as now and then watch the full games there but if you're watching from youtube don't forget to also share subscribe if you haven't because this is going to be an intense three matches this is going to be three aerial matches if you wanted to see sanhok and miramar then ruder is your way to go uh, definitely if you want to watch the sanhawks if you want to watch the miramars uh, then uh, you will have to download the ruder and you don't want to miss out the Miramars and the Sandhawk actions. You want to make sure you watch every single of it. But right now, talking about the game, it is the first wrangle. And I think the teams might be playing on a bit aggressive side. They can go passive. I can be wrong on that. But my gut feeling is telling me that uh, this first match is going to be really aggressive, uh, Vince. Uh, we're going to see a lot of clash drops. We're going to see a lot of fights early into the game. Uh, and I want to see that bloodshed. I really, really want to see that bloodshed going around uh, with the teams. Uh, but uh, Erangel, the plane, has taken that flight. You can already see that. And here we go, guys. Uh, the plane is going from all the way from the top. Uh, that is the Zarki region, uh, all the way up to the Senvoska military base. Now, let's see where are the teams are going to drop. So some of them took the early drop, probably will be dropping towards shooting range, Zarki if they want to. And uh, the other the other teams here might be going towards Pachinki, Gatka. If they can reach Ku, uh, yes, they might be going there, but... They can like go early drops as early as now. Might as well drop to Sustovka military base. They can like easily reach that. But if the circle shifts towards the uh, right side of the map, they can like rotate towards Milta, Milta Power, and let's see how the circle will end there. But most of the time, I, I've I have observed that the the circle probably stays in the middle. I'm not seeing any hardships at all. Hardies. So. They're gonna be, you know, they're gonna be taking their time first to loot. So it's it's either way, we can see aggression from these teams. Are they gonna be introducing each other this early? Are they are they gonna be getting those early kills at all? So interesting. Hard East run. I I said it. It is going hard East run, and it does. Ooh. Stalbert, Severny, <laughs> the mansion, the prison areas are where the circle is right now. But I'm already seeing some clashes. Uh, Look at Team 52 Esports near the Team STR and the Team A1 TMT. In Pachinki, I'm also seeing maybe, maybe two different teams at the same particular vicinity. Stalwarts Esports, uh, 
there is a Hora Esports uh, towards the Rosalk area, so that can also be an indication of the fight between the team ASAG I8. Uh, this is my question because uh, we are seeing on the main screen there's the team for Miracle Vibes. Uh, at the military base island and i don't think so that i see agon xi8 oh they are in fact asag is definitely here fala gets a first knockout but instantly gets a damage on himself he definitely retaliates gets into the safe side the dock is approaching Rifus gets the knock as where they got a first knock they also made sure that they also bleed out well, Apex here in a better position. He's on the outer side of this compound, so he can like easily snipe whoever comes outside the military base. So for Miracle Vibes here, trying to at least control the upper area, but we can see Doc here going down. So Rifus, Arrow, is he going to go down as well? Doc, is he going to go in? That is going to be the question, because we can see that the... XIA here is going to be staying inside, so they're going to be waiting for, for Miracle Vibes to go in. So... I think they're preparing for for the entry of uh, Doc and the rest of the members of Formerical Vibes. Okay, Falak here running low. He's just trying to stay. But IQQ gets Aero down. So Doc here is oh. not going to do the revive at all. He's not going to do the revive at all. Team AS. They have at least taken the first initiative knock and the first blood of the match so far. So for Miracle Vibes now, they have to like take the fight as a duo versus a trio. But I kill with the S12K. He gets another one down. This can be detrimental for the team for Miracle Vibes. Uh, this might be it for them because uh, it is Doc. Uh, that is uh, the one and only hope in the close range quarters of the fight. Uh, that he is the only hope that can actually like retaliate back, get the knockouts save or refuss but if oh, no. it's not that then it's gonna be a really hard scenario but dog gets a knockdown he instantly confirms the kill now once again he gets the knockout on himself by the hand of crypto it is the 1897 shotgun on the face but from this point onward team for miracle vibes is down to the last man standing it is apex but where's the is there even a fourth player of the team agon asagi8 that has joined in this match or not well, this is gonna be hard for for Apex to commit to to go to Refus and initiate a revive, but you know he's gonna let them pass. So probably he's he's baiting Refus, uh, for him to to go in for that final kill. But I think they're not gonna go in for Refus. They're gonna let him die because Apex here is just gonna wait for the ambush. Crypto on the other hand is gonna take the loots as well. So. This is this is really hard for for those teams that is starting a fight after they drop. So that means they need uh they're gonna be fighting with limited items. They're not gonna be equipped with you know, too much. They don't have any healing uh, uh kits at all. They're, they don't they have limited grenades. IQQ finally Refus is down, but I think they know where Apex is. So AS Agon XI8 is going to mark. Uh, the position probably of Apex, if they're gonna go in or not, or I think, yeah, they're gonna let it pass. Probably t use this opportunity to to far uh, to to get more more med kits, bullets, change into better guns, and at the same time prepare uh, for for the next one. Definitely, they need a better arsenal than they already have to like initiate into the fight once again. But joining as a three-man, Team Agon XI8 has lost one of their players uh, in this fight, leaving them now as just a duo. But going to the team, uh, for all esports right now, they're at the school. Nobody, nobody is even remotely close to this team, and it is an easy job for them to like get that loot, gather the arsenals, uh, and then rotate out from this area. But there is another team, in fact, there is another team near the Pachinki, and Team Raw oh, no. is actually heading their way. But are we gonna see the fight? The answer to that question is definitely going to be a yes, because it is a slam in uh, Team Major Pride, MP. Oh, Evo Station, he is waiting uh, with the grenade in the hand. He's gonna throw it up. Five seconds, three seconds before, ex uh, before it explodes. Oh no! Oh no! But no, it doesn't do any kind of damage to anybody. UMP 45, it does knock someone out, but instantly, he also gets a knockout on himself. 
But Chinky quite chaotic at this rate. We can see attacker trying to launch him hit a uh, launch his grenade towards that house. So he's not gonna connect to anyone, but crypto here getting apex. So for Mercury Vibes, you're the first one to go. But let's go back towards the fight of Raw here. Major Fried as well. They have been eliminated. So Raw, they controlled Major Fi uh, Major Pride on that fight. So they're they're the next team to go after Four Miracle Vibes. So not a not a really good start for for Four Miracle Vibes uh, on that raid. But Major Pride being followed here. I think Raw is quite prepared for a fight right now. But let's go here. Oh we no! You can see IHG. <laughs> Having a trouble here uh, on Guts and Glory. We can see Careless right now getting that elimination, converting that into a point. Zayo being knocked down. So it's going to be hard for them to commit as well. Is he going to convert it into a kill point? Yes, he is. So that means they have the upper hand. GG, Guts and Glory, they have the upper hand on this fight. They definitely do have the upper hand on this fight as a trio versus a duo from this point onward. Let's see what the team IHC is actually going to do from this point onward. Rogue and Demoji are the only two hopes right now and they're kind of scattered away. Not in the open. If they're spotted, it is going to be over for them. But the tap taps on the cars, they're making sure that the team Guts and Glory, they cannot come and enter their way into the circle. But the circle has taken its shift. We also saw the airdrop coming into the way and it has the mg3 if if anyone anyone hears me if anyone is listening go get that airdrop it is the free mg and it is the most deadliest gun that you can actually receive for yourself but for miracle vibe then team mp are the only two teams so far into the first stage that has been eliminated but fights are not stopping because we are seeing the team ks versus 52 esports uh, taking uh, the fights against each other fessel once again getting another knock uh, on 52 esports it is down to the last man standing the shotguns are making its away but no he survives he still survives gets Ooh. another one down and from the brink of death they come back 52 esports uh, getting those elimination but for how long because because Team Sky came from the back, eliminating 52 Esports as well. Wow! The third party coming in from Hora here, they made the most out of that. So, 52 Esports, they survived, they eliminated the KSX. So, after that, Hora got involved, and then they got the most of it. They got kills, they got elimination points. So, it's time for them to get out of that area and look for more. So, they can, like, go inside the circle... They're now in Yasnaya Poliana, but we can see Falcon Esports top on the other hand, knocking down one member of Stronger Esports. Spike needs some help. So it's up to West, it's up to Hopeless to, to aid West, and now he's back on track. But we can see Hopeless here staying in shape. West on the other hand, is he going to, to fetch his teammate Hopeless being knocked down by the play zone? So it... Things are just getting complicated, but still, they can like go for the re five as well. We can see up here on the move. Are they gonna get close to stronger? Oh, they are definitely close oh! again, but oh my goodness, West, you beast, you beauty with that spray. He gets the player out of the car. Oh my god, Team Falcons. Oh. Kind of in a panicking situation, but it is an overcooked grenade that he just threw. It didn't hit anyone. It didn't do any kind of damage on anybody at any point. But Falcon now, they're pushing in with the same grenades into their hands as well. They're going to throw it. It's going to go into the balcony. It's going to burst, but nobody's going to get the damage. Rogue gets that elimination. Hopeless also gets eliminated. IHC out of the match during this time. But still... Falcon versus a stronger esports. The grenade's on the trajectory. It hits the player, and it's over. Team stronger esports out of the match. Right on the hashtag number eleven. We are down to the top ten teams from this point onward. But this is just stage two. That's ending five more seconds. Five more seconds. Rage Cairo versus Team DRS. It's all too happening outside of the circle. But DRS has finally secured their second elimination, and now they're going to be moving into the circle. Wow, we can see those teams fully committing towards eliminating the rest, uh, each other here. So, that's a good fight. 
Crosshawk here being occupied by Stalwart, and uh, we can see our 3G as well is interested. And they're in the middle. So T2K as well, they're just nearby. They just have to watch out for teams that is getting close to the circle. So A1 TMT here on the lookout, waiting for teams to come. So this is a perfect gatekeep for them. Are they going to, to wait for the opportunity for, for teams to come close and then go for the kill? Uh, we can see Ro D now trying to, to get close as well. Check he's just checking the uh the main road if there's someone who's passing by, but I believe that T2K here spots one. They they spotted Hora, who managed to survive the third party between uh KS Axe and of course uh I believe that was uh fifty two. I think that was fifty two as well. But T two K and the team Stalwart Esports right now, they're kind of in the close vicinity, but Hora Esports uh, versus uh, it is one side T2K that they have to take the fight against. Uh, Malik Hora, he's still in the car, he's still moving away from this particular vicinity. ASAGI8, uh, I don't know where they are right now, but oh, A1 TM team coming into the wave against the team, and they have taken that first initiative elimination against the team t2k esports a hitman coming in near the gas station alongside of his teammate the rest of the party is also regrouping here they're gonna wait it out they're gonna make sure that they get some fuel they get some arsenal once again from this point onward and then wait for the circle wait for the opportunity that they can actually like uh, utilize against the different team uh, naki from the team r3g stalwart side uh, in fact r3g side He's right now here, but uh, let's see, let's see what uh, the team R3G is going to do against the team Stalwart Esports at this point. K420 Boy versus Player 3 of the team Stalwarts, they are right in front of each other. Anyone that's going to make a single mistake is going to receive a lot of detrimental damage. Oh, I can see how patient they are so they're just waiting for them to to come out or to uh they're waiting for some other teams to to come uh inside the safe zone so they're just trying to, to guard it out you no know, oh okay he's just trying to fire some shots but anyways we're not gonna be seeing anyone uh, as of the moment r3g and of course the other r3g here it, it, they're gonna be trying to at least check with each other but So it's gonna be really hard for them, and for the 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 DRS, they can like occupy the the lower area, but they can clash, they can collide with the ASAG XIA. So they have to be careful, or they can like, go three way around between Stalwart, DRS, and of course AG XIA. So this is going to be exciting. Oh, I see. Managed to at least do a hit and run towards one player of A1. Oh, he rams him down. He gets that knockout during that time. Stalwart the esports player one is also getting those knockouts. But we have a P90 in the airdrop number three, guys. Get that P90 as well because it used to be like out in the open. Now it's just a rare airdrop gun, and uh, it has changed quite a bit. Like for Mas, uh, I do have to tell you that. But 19 so far, and the fourth stage is closing in two minutes. Uh, still. There are still two minutes before the stage closes on. Team Hora Esports versus another team that's happening. Maximus from Raw. Oh my goodness. He gets the knockout on Malik. And Malik, that he is in the open area. There is a little chance, I'd say, for him to like actually survive in this area. But Praben is also trying to take those different angles. Secure those different angles. And get that knockdown maybe on the worst of players. But Maxim... Uh, no, so far, nothing so far, but oh my god, what was that spray? Straight on the heads, uh, he connects those bullets, takes another one down, Shingo comes in for the rush, and another one goes down for the team, Ahura Esports, uh, Raw is coming in, Raw with the fires on towards the team, so far it is three player from the team, Ahura, that are down, last guy standing, it is Sky Ahura, he takes one down, but instantly gets the confirmation from Probin, it is over for the team, Ahura Esports, uh, and uh, I have to tell you, Raw Esports, uh, they are definitely going in raw from everybody. 
actually raw. If you spell it backwards, it seems like they're prepared for war. And they're yes. bringing war here in the midst of this area right here. We can see a Unix I hate trying to at least fight between DRS. IQQ ready to throw in those nades up. Is it going to connect? Nope. But we can see DRS now go fully committing towards IQQ. But IQQ here needs to struggle, needs to fight. You know, with Crypto and IQQ as the only standing member for the ASA GXIA. So this is going to be hard for them to defend. And now IQQ being knocked down, so it's up to Crypto. It's now hiding towards the buggy, behind the buggy, using the, no, using the smoke no. to, to conceal himself, but he cannot survive. It is over for a team what? A S A G I eight. They got eliminated, but during that time there's more teams that, What? That got just elimination on them? I believe a minute ago we had nine teams and now we just have five <laughs> total five. R3G, Stalwart, J1 TMT, DRS, uh, and Team Falcons. Uh, what is going on? But yes, uh, the only team that has the most man advantage is the team DRS, and I don't think so that we have seen that much of a fight from the DRS side in this match, but finally they are going for the fight. A while ago they took down Aegon XI8, ASAG, in fact, if I have to say, but right now they're also struggling. One player was down, instantly got that revival. Once again, back on their feet, they're going to get into the single car and they're going to make their way into the circle. The only thing I'd say that is working into their favor is that circle. The circle, look at it. It gone towards the eastern opportunity, eastern areas, and DRS uh, somehow has the control of the eastern area for themselves. Yeah, DRS here trying to play with the circle. Now they're in. So they went in. They, they started from below and then they, they got up. They went uh to the uh bottom side of the circle. So they're, they're waiting patiently right now. So after that rotation, after that engagement, they're going to go in for the kill. XMPL here managed to at least start off the fight. Trying to shake things off here with the REG. So they have to wait for a perfect opportunity to at least convert that kill once again. So... If they're gonna be playing patiently and uh, commit to annihilate the entire squad, then it's gonna be interesting. Now Sleepy gets player four. Oh, we are still like seeing teams struggle at this point. They can just stay, stay into the cover during the whole time, during the circle rotation. Let the circle even like uh, commit more towards a single like angle the drs look at that they have taken care of one more team it is the top four teams that are right now taking the fight against each other sleepy alongside of killer alongside of marcello alongside of xmpl they have the complete rosoch area for themselves but now they have spotted the team falcons they're shooting at them luckily team falcons has the covers for themselves as well so even if they get the knockout, there's still the opportunity, the possibilities that they can be revived. But at this rate, it's going to be DRS who has the complete manpower. Uh, four players now trying to fight up against the DRS. But you know, the, others, the other squads here, Falcon with only three remaining members. Uh, the A1 TMT here only has two. And of course, Regicide only already has one. And Ghost here, he's still on the bridge. He's just trying... To hide under the bridge and uh, near Z just have the opportunity to check under the bridge, but he oh. got spotted by Ghost. So this is going to be an engaging battle. But how can near Z fight when he's in the water? There is no way, but he definitely <laughs> can provide the oh, no. like call out to his teammates. But oh my God, near Z. Ghost actually like dunked in the water. This was your opportunity to like uh, take that land, take the fight against Ghost, take him out uh, once and for all, but nothing. He didn't do anything. Now, from this point onward, Ghost that he spotted, Team Falcons have the opportunity to oh. call out his teammates, and they definitely do that. Action comes in, gets the action done on R3G, and it's over for R3G as well. Now, not only the Team Falcon has the corner of the circle for themselves as well, they also got some decent loot uh, from Ghost's side. The only team that's not in the circle is the Team A1 TMT, and they're taking the fight against the Team DRS, XMPL, 
takes the guy down. That's Storm, the one and only hope for the team. Everything is residing on this guy's shoulder. Can he make it out? Can he do that? But the damage says otherwise. It is so much of a damage. Now, he not only have to revive his teammate, but also heal himself. Then, then once again, take the leap of faith, get out in the open, and get into the cover side. Now we can see a one pmp They're trying to at least get the most out of the smoke. So they're trying to at least do their best to, to heal up and prepare for the battle. And uh, we can see XMPL here trying to at least shift his targets one area to another. Oh. But that's a good commitment, good spray. And oh they got, my he got God. Two, of those, two of them down. Whoa. Oh my God. God, this guy's a beast! But that Storm got the elimination uh, by the play circle. He did the damage, no doubt. But uh, he couldn't get that elimination. But now, guys, it is down to the last two teams. It is a four versus three fight. Falcon versus the DRS. The two giants are gonna go up against each other. Falcons, they don't have the man advantage. The grenade is coming in at his nerves of the ways. He survives, he gets the grenade out, but will it hit? Will it connect on anybody? This is the only question that needs to be answered, because if it does, uh, then the opportunity will present themselves to the Team Falcons, and maybe I see from a oh. different angle, get spotted by XMPL. This guy is a complete beast, man. Uh, wins the way that he took down the two different teams, the two different players. Uh, at two different opportunities from a same, same single angle, I have to give it to him. He is going to be the MVP if he survives and get more eliminations. You can see the focus on this guy. XMPL is focusing to eliminate A1 TNT and the oh. same time, he's just looking for the guard. He's just trying to spot uh, what the Falcons are doing. Sleepy here managed to punish Icy once again, and Marcelo got to commit that nade. Near said, tried to fight with Marcelo with that nade, and Killer gets action. Killer oh, well will be eliminating action. So this is now a do or die moment. Five is out. The real soldiers is going to be getting that chicken dinner. It is the winner, winner chicken dinner for the team at DRS. Not even leaving a single player behind. Not even getting a single casualty on themselves. It is 11 eliminations to their name. And a beautiful, and a beautiful winner, winner chicken dinner for the match. And number one, this is just the start. And team DRS is showing that they are ready for this action. 11 eliminations. I want to see the individual eliminations uh, from this point onward. How many players, which player got how much eliminations, uh, how much XMPL got for himself. It is four for the guy. 727 Ooh. damage. Killer YT also not coming slow with the damage, but the eliminations is not that much high. He has three eliminations, but double the damage. Sleepy has less the damage than the eliminations. Wow. DRS, ladies and gentlemen, starting the Erangel with style. DRS, they, we, we might not feel them earlier, but, no, but you know, they dominated the, the late game. They managed to, yeah. to bag a couple of kills, and then with that 11 elimination on hand, especially this guy, XMPL, he is going to be the top. Uh, he's going to be one of the top teams on this team, but it seems like action here is going to be the MVP of the match. Who gets five eliminations with 709 damage and, of course, with the longest elimination distance of 172 meters, action is your guy all throughout this match. But, you know, if I can, like, say if DRS needs an MVP, it's gonna be XMPL for me. Yeah, definitely it is XMPL if the DRS actually gets the MVP. But it is action, in fact, uh, five elimination. He has one more elimination, some slightly less damage than XMPL, I'd say. Healing is there, 765. He got a lot of uh, like damage and healing done. But here's the highlights, guys. This is the most. Uh, like intense moment of the match number one where we saw a lot of teams getting into the fight this was the 52 esports versus ks 
axe fight, whereas uh, chances were looking grim for the team, uh, uh, like 52 esports, but they still prevailed. They still managed to get the team KSX down instantly. Right after that, they also got the elimination onto themselves as well. But R3G Go survived a lot longer, but. Uh, his actions uh, were all in vain. He still got eliminated at the hashtag number three, hashtag number four, in fact. But after that, Falcon, the way he actually like survived till the end, and Nerzet, the way he like presented his team, it was great. He got the knockout done, but it was all not all for naught because there were a lot of players for the team DRS. But here we have the match standing, 17 total points. Uh, for the team of Falcons, uh, but 21 in total for the team at DRS. Uh, Raw Esports with 12 uh, and double digits straight up goes out the window after the hashtag number three. Interesting take here. But, you know, seems like if Team Falcons wins that fight and eliminate all four members of DRS, probably yeah. it's not only 17, but might as well. They're going to be topping the charts yeah. with at least 23 or 24 points. But on the next page, we have 52 Esports. That gets four total points. Star Wars Esports, Guts and Glory, both of them are getting three points. Hora Esports only gets two together with IHE Esports. So it's just interesting as it gets. You know how Raw managed to play out. They managed to, to, to survive and ended up in sixth place. They, they got eliminated that easy and uh, you know how aggressive they are. They managed to get 10 eliminations all throughout. If, uh, they managed to at least pop off and uh, last longer and made it to the top four or top three. They might bag more kills and uh, that might impact their their standing all throughout this map. So this is how uh, this is just a start. So you know by getting you know low points, they can still bounce back. Like KS Axe here with two points, T2K stronger and former club vibes only got one point, and Major Pride will be getting none. It's just the first era of the map. They can still do better in the upcoming maps that is the beauty of a wrangle i'd say because you have a lot more wrangles still two more wrangles that you can retaliate back if one wrangle is not good for you maybe the second one will be if it's not the second one then you will all can hope for the third match as well which will be once again the wrangle but uh, you don't have to take uh, too much time you don't want to waste too much time because you know it's just two days, it's just 12 matches, and each and every single match is worth it, is really, really crucial. And if you're not able to get that, uh, I, I have to say sorry for you at that time. But yes, this was the match number one, DRS got it. How will the match to proceed? Which team will have the better chance? Because the water testing, I'd say, somewhat is off for the Wrangel match. We usually call the water testing day as the day number one, but it's just two days of action for South Asian Lobby, for South A East Asian Lobby as well, that will be happening after this. So you have to be like really, really on the fast pace. But for now, guys, before we head to the match number two, we will be going on a short break. Do not go anywhere. Stay here. Stay connected with us. We will be right back. So one v one between him and his boy K. Born of Vishnu Kumilega. Yes, he finds a way out of this. Born like he's a step back from the other global esports. Game देखने का इतना load. तो करना router download. Seven crore gamers and streamers are on router. Where are you? So one v one between him and his boy K. Born of Vishnu Kumilega. Yes, he finds a way out. Born like he's a step back from the other global esports. Game देखने का इतना load. तो करना router download. Seven crore gamers and streamers are on router. Where are you? Game देखने का इतना load तो करना router download. Seven crore gamers and streamers are on router. Where are you?
Hello everyone and welcome back here on the Gamers Grand Rumble. It was an intense first map and we cannot get any better. This uh, this day is just getting more and more interesting as DRS managed to get the first chicken dinner. So what's going to happen here on the next map? I wanted to see how the next era goes and we're back here together with Dorix. My name is Vince G and uh, your thoughts about what's going to happen in the next map. Uh, for the first match, my thoughts were a ASAG are going to take that chicken and that didn't work. So I think my, uh, let's, let's not talk about that. And let's talk about your prediction, because I think you chose DRS and they actually like got that chicken dinner for themselves. So if it's anything, uh, guys, uh, you know who to contact to know the next, uh, like predictions, uh, uh, you know who to contact, but yes, wins. Uh, congratulations to you. I'll give you that uh, one point into the notepad that I have. But aside from that, the next two more. The four miracle, maybe this time around in this second match. Uh, AS might be the one that got uh, like eliminated or possible at this point, but the plane line is on our team once again. Wait, Vince, it's the same plane line. <laughs> yeah, it, it it it's the same start. It's the same uh, plane line. It's the same start, but you know the angle is quite a uh, little bit favoring towards Nova yeah. uh, Nova Rapnoye. Uh, earlier, it was leaning towards the bottom of uh, so Snow coming at our base, but seems yeah. like. Nova Noya is going to be the final destination for, for these teams. But, you know, might as well see where the circle goes on this map. It's going to be, it's going to, to harness the same results, if ever. But it all depends on how the teams are going to adjust with this kind of circle. And, of course, the same, uh, same uh, dropping spots for them as well. So we can expect an engagement again in Sosnovka military base. So... For me, it's going to be another action in the, the military base. So it's up to the two teams earlier to, to play it safe or probably commit towards uh, annihilating their opponent. So yeah, it, it, uh, it, they have to be careful for them not to be eliminated early. But if it's worth the risk, then probably it's going to be the fight that they're looking for. Uh, yes, AS, I'd say they might go once again for the clash drops uh, not only because their first clash drop were like into their favor but they now have to remember this time that the circle is and uh, not for them uh, the circle is on the completely yeah. northern angle even we are seeing like five percent of the area not even being spotted into the map so already 30%, almost 40% of the area of the circle is in the water. The rest of it is on the land and on the hard northern side area. Stalwarts, Ahora, the T2K, they're on the northern angle and they have the circle for maybe one or two like next stages. But aside from that, going to the team AS. AG, let's see with the M16A4 how crypto is gonna actually proceed here because on the secondary gun he has the VSS, but for Miracle Vibes, uh, they don't have the same compound as the team ASAG. Again, it's going to be 4MB up against the AS Agon X I8, so they have to choose their battles wisely. If they uh if they suffered a defeat or they suffered a knockdown or an elimination, might as well think of uh, what are they going to do next? Are they gonna bail out? Are they gonna focus on surviving? You know, this early at this early stage, probably must, uh might as well focus on getting more items, getting uh get those nades, get those mocks to be uh prepared towards fighting your opponents, get better guns, get get better arsenals and uh get more heals get more bondage get more health kits in order for you to survive long in this uh map or in this area because this is going to test your patience you know you're not gonna get out once you have that information that your your opponent stays here you might as well want them to to be eliminated you just might as well want to get those four kills uh, on your banner because you need those points but uh 
you just have to to make sure that you need to win this fight without suffering any casualties. But we can see Doc here burning down the military base. Right? He's just trying to at least make sure to scare off the uh, ASA and XI-8 on this compound to, to go outside. But it seems like the patience has been broken because Weefus and Arrow wanted to go in. Oh, they do have to go in, uh, but the grenades, uh, they are throwing the grenades. Will Folex grenade actually hit the player? Crypto gets a knockdown by Refus. Okay, this might not be a good opportunity for the team ASAG this time because uh, they're the first one to get that knockdown onto themselves. Uh, A1 TMT in the meanwhile, Hitman got the knockdown. Dakar waiting for the opportunity as well, but I don't know why but doc is actually looking at the wrong angle but he spots the player he gets that Ooh. dbs uh, connected on him and it is uh, almost over for the team asag right now at this point uh, but uh, the solo player from the team asag is still surviving iq it's all up to this guy the grenades uh, is in the hand of Apex. Oh. Well, he throws, but before he can actually throw that grenade, it is over for the team ASI-8. On the number 15, they go without even a single elimination. Well, with Arrow committing that UMP kill, the final blow, it's gonna get, it's gonna lean towards uh, this team. They managed to, to get that upper hand right now. Also, A1 TNT here, uh, TMT here managed to get four kills simultaneously uh you know when they uh fought horror off cam so what a good start for them they didn't even lose any member at all they want tmt here they just need to to replenish lost health in order for them to to conquer bigger fights but as agon xi8 here they are stuck with five points they didn't get any points at all in that kind of fight so they have to work their way through because for Miracle Vibes here, they wanted to accumulate more points. And uh, by getting four points in this map, they're, they're going to be hungry. They're going to be looking for more. And uh, now Stalwart on our screen. This is going to be the other team of, uh, I believe, Regicide. So they're going to be looking for another good position for, for them. And they're going to be staying in Rostock area. So... Might as well deja vu of what happened earlier. Remember when when that one guy stayed in the uh, bottom of the bridge just to to position himself up. Oh, so yeah. you know things just get complicated because we saw Falcon Esports committing into that area and then they got the final blow. That's still like uh, I'd say stalwarts the way that they are proceeding right now. They are once again into somewhat of the same uh, like position that they were last time uh, but evil station from major pride also has his lamborghini also has his uh, teammate so far and near him so not only he has uh, a great opportunity that either he can stay here or he can just uh, leave out this uh, position and get into the safer side you need to like make sure that the next date the next circle that's actually being made you have uh, the control of that you need the control of the circle before anything anything can actually happen they all from the team ihc is kind of near the team mp rogue has spotted uh, the player and the damage is there but not not the knockouts the knockouts are what's going to matter the most as soon as you get the knockout you will have instantly the opportunity to either aggress on the player or confirm him from all the different angles that you may have to cure for themselves but godless came in for the rush but instantly gets the damage on himself. 52 in the meanwhile from the backside. They're also taking the fight against the team Stalwart Esports. 52 Shamir with the Stalwart side. I see Zyol getting a knockdown. So different areas, different fights it's happening. Stalwart has lost so far two of their players in return of the team 52 Esports that has one of their players knocked out so far. Wow, we can see how busy this map is. Eric on the map, the first few minutes. It's going to be jam-packed with a lot of gunfights, a lot of action. We can see player 3 here trying to at least withstand the bullets coming in from 52 Esports. But, you know, the teams are just going all out. Now, player 3 here focusing on one player, but he was forced to heal himself up. We can see the nades or the ball he's being thrown at his way. He's just trying to distance himself, forces the smoke to conceal his presence. But we can see here that Alien converts player two so it's up to this guy 
player three to survive the rap of 52 esports now it's time to run because he laid out smokes so he needs to conceal his presence he needs to stay alive for his team get those placement points and at the same time get a couple of kills if he can oh my god the circle finally the circle has gone to somewhat of the favor of the teams because it has gone to the southern angle somewhat decentralized the complete land area is in the circle but 52 esports they have oh. taken the final player of the team stalwart esports as well it is over for them and from this point onward we are down to the 13 teams 52 are not stopping at their tracks because after the team stalwarts they have diverted their shots on the team ks side one player of the team KS is down, eliminated, but A1 TMT, look at the kill feed, they are making their way as a third party on the 52 <laughs> Esports. IET, once again, at the same position that we have left them a while ago, Aleon, Shamir, alongside of T24OP, they are moving away, they are leaving this area, they don't want nothing to do with this uh, particular angle anymore, but Team uh, Major Pride... Uh, they have finally decided to take the fight against the team IHC. Demo OG got the knock, got the instant confirmation. And at the same time, IHC has lost another one of their players. But KS, Falcons, uh, a grenade coming in. Uh, and uh, right with that grenade, Team Falcon has lost, uh, has got their one player knocked out. Oh no, KS Axe here. I believe this is going to be Mad Cat standing for his team. IHC now trying to to bombard him his way with nades but he's gonna go for the revive action here needs some serious help right now but the rest of the members of Falcon Esports they're gonna be sure making sure that they convert this into a kill but there's no time to lose they are now I see now going into the aid of action at the same time throwing in those mollies throwing in those nades and we can see near said here trying to provide some cover fire cover support KS Axe now near in the river now what are they? Uh, what do they need to do in order for them to convert this into a kill? Prabin now from Team Raw. He managed to get one, but look at that Raw here. Opposite to what they started earlier, they got eliminated without any points at all, thanks to Regicide. Oh yes, thanks to Regicide. Regicide got the four eliminations that didn't even let them like uh, do anything now they will get the revive but talking about the team a1 tm team to the meanwhile we are seeing them against team falcons uh, so far the fight is not stopping look at the sinister comes in close but instantly gets a knockdown on himself from a, a different angle top and sky rowdy coming in but he cannot uh, he cannot uh, like uh, get knocked down by the hand of IC as IC was kind of prone down. He was kind of like stuck there. He had to get up uh, to take that opportunity. But another circle shift towards the northern angle. Severny is there. But guys, remember this. This is the second match. And from third match onward, everything, all the broadcast will be converting to the router. So if you haven't downloaded router yet, uh, make sure you do that. Make sure you hit the link in the description because that's uh, where the live link for this uh, rest of the stream is going to be. But 4MV, look at them. From the southern angle, they are kind of in a split. 2-2 two -two split. And if I have to like be really blunt, it is a 2-1-1 one -one split. As only one player is going towards the enemies. The rest of the players are kind of like outside the circle. But A1 TMT versus Team KS. It's still happening. We are not only seeing A1 TMT taking the fight against the Team Falcons. But at the same time against the Team KS as well. So multiple fight. At the same angle, it's definitely happening. Nurzad has the grenade in the hand. That's Dome. Uh, super low on that HP. He gets that splash damage off the grenade. And it is down on this guy. Naki also receiving the damage from T2K. So, different fights uh, at different angles are also happening. Different fights in different places. Aerogel now going more and more BC, and now from the Slovka Island for Miracle Vibes makes their way through in the upper side of the map. They wanted to get involved as well into this fight. Team Falcon, who, who faces uh, Axe, KS Axe earlier, they got their distraction. A1 TMT was there to at least distract Team Falcons, and that, that gives. KS Axe a room to breathe and they decided to okay let's just try to splash in the water just to ha uh, let's just try to hide our presence but you know things are getting more and more complicated because 
the way Chaos acts here tries to at least hide underwater, it, it, uh, the area is not uh, favoring them. So they have to make their move. They get, they have to get out of the water. They have to go in. So they have to run for their lives. And now Falcon is doing the same thing as well. After they got distracted by A1 TMT, they need to prioritize their own safety. And uh, Falcon Esports, after they, they lost action and IC into that fight, Falcon Esports needs to bounce back. I think they're chasing A1 TNT, and uh, probably they need to to get their vengeance in the uh, on that last standing play. But wait a minute, Nursen here Ooh. receiving damage. I think that's Talwar Esports. That's their former team, so they have to be careful. <laughs> no survive. No survive. No survival oh. <laughs> whatsoever. He's gonna get down by the play circle, and top is going to be the only top. Uh, hope for the team but drs says otherwise they are still in the match they are still going for another winner winner chicken dinner chances uh, the first elimination by the hand of drs we have seen is through the hands of xmpl but we are seeing a1 tmt ks on the southeastern corner but the way that they are moving they're gonna be up against team drs and not so long not too long from this one on where they have to be really careful on where they're gonna head out mad cat got Ooh. eliminated and it is over for the team at ks that uh, team drs is a third elimination but alian from 52 esports gets his deal down not a good start for the team at drs from this point onward because you need to have all of your players still surviving until until it is the top five because if it's not then it is going to be hard for you to survive into the later stages but stage four closing in in four seconds and let's see let's see what the panic scenario is going to bring either the best of the teams or it is gonna like bring the destruction of so many players from this point on where 52 esports they have the shack they have the corners for themselves they can hold out the teams from entering in the circle so far but i wouldn't get their hopes up because this is either like also a location kind of out in the open where if there is another team into their backside vince ooh, it is going to be like uh, a party for them it's going to be a party. It's going to be chaos. It's going to to test them how how much longer are they going to survive? Because you cannot focus on one target alone. You just have to to be omnipresent at all times. You just have to watch your back at the same time while looking on your front. But we can see Doc here with that uh, accuracy. Once he threw that nade towards the area of the 52 esports while holding his gun, Aliyah is still uh, on that house. But Arrow here connecting his nade. Ooh. On two members of 52 esports, but Major Prize here making some noise onto Reggie's side. And Apex here, he's he gonna seal the deal, but we can see pushes here. Doc <laughs> as well. Now they're gonna, they're gonna go in. Samir has nowhere to go. He's inside the shack and he's gonna go. And now Rutz gets Shamir. The T2K and uh, I believe former Call 5's collision. That was nasty. Mm hmm. That definitely was, uh, but so far, still 10 teams are remaining in the match, and now, where 52 Esports was a while ago, we are seeing Team for Miracle Vibes there, and uh, judging from the past experience of that place, I don't think that's a good idea that you're gonna stay there, but Team Major Pride, uh, now Elementrix gets the knockdown on himself, uh, attacker alongside of Evo Station, will they be able to give a clean rev to the player or not because uh, the hand for the rev is there but as soon as that car is gonna get burst down it is over for elementrix another grenade from roshan is also coming in it's gonna go a lot into the backside of the station receiving the damage as k oh. making its way getting a knockdown from the backside team oh. str there sprays the random shots into the smoke because the connectivity on the team R3G. Team Major Pride now has this uh, underground area for themselves, but for how long? Because the circle has taken a shift away from this, and there's another team, another team, Guts and Glory, right on top of them. Well, for the side of Major Pride, they need to climb up. They need to get out of the bunker in order for them to survive. But they have to last long. They have to at least endure the pain. But how can you endure the pain? Because this is now stage 5. Guts and Glory now waiting for T2K to come close. But look at, look at Knight. He now, he's now focusing on the T2K. But 
Husaifa with that nade onto attacker. Cairo gets in the, uh, ingenious here, but careless on the other hand is going to finish this off with a nade. There goes Kaboom. Major Pride goes out. T2K is bailing out. But T2K, before they bail out, they managed to commit a really, really good kill. Husaifa trying to at least run towards the circle, gets into the buggy, goes. Hiding in the smoke, and Knight here, he got left behind. He needs to ride a vehicle. But for T2K, they're in a good spot. They're in a good position. They are now watching uh, what is going to happen here between A1. For Miracle Vibes is there as well. But look at Roots here with that commitment into knocking him down. Now, he can focus on poor Miracle Vibes with that commitment. Sleepy gets Husaifa for Guts and Glory. Oh my god, I'm seeing T2K and I'm seeing their position. They are definitely like uh, have the best opportunity to get a lot of eliminations for themselves. But DRS, uh, grenades coming in. Guts and glory out of the match because the last grenade was from the team STR. Hopeless, which gave a lot of hope for his team. Spike and Hopeless are the only two guys that are surviving. They're in the Severini, they are in the circle, but we are down to the top six. Uh, and remember guys, uh, before the fight gets... As well make sure you join us there as well but for miracle vibes now coming back to the fight back to the action we are seeing arrows super low on that hp he doesn't even have any kind of healings uh, on himself he spots holly on he does some damage but drs uh, will be the one responsible for the elimination of another team drs i'm seeing they're getting those eliminations back to back they're getting uh, once again back close to the like winner winner chicken dinner we are down to the top five versus t2k they have the complete squad 4mv iot they have just the solo players uh, trs and str these are the two teams that still has uh, like a decent opportunity i'd say with the eliminations or with the man power that they have the three man squad let's see let's see how it's gonna gonna work out because in 18 seconds uh, once again the teams will be forced that uh, wins Leave this up like position, get into the circle once again. Okay, Kaltisi here managed to spot the main member for four miracle of vibes, and now DRS. In order for them to get that back to back chicken dinner, they have to eliminate the threat, and after, uh, and after that, they can enjoy that chicken dinner. But who are the threat? Number one, it's going to be T2K with a lot of manpower. This squad is very, very much complete. But what happened here? Suyog here, he got punished by the blue. So that means T2K will be having the time to revive Kaltisi on the run. Igneous as well, riding the monster truck. They're gonna go into the aid of Suyog. But there's, there's no movement at all. STR, are they going to, to, to at least cripple down the lineup of T2K? And, uh, you know, STR here, they had the chance to get the chicken dinner. You can see Hopeless here. He's just turning this opportunity into a glimmer of hope for his team. And we can see Igneous here hiding and uh, trying to at least distract the attention of uh, DRS and, of course, the STR. But it's a free real estate right there. There is no contestments at all. They can, like, easily get the airdrop all by themselves without any contestments at all but we can see spike here trying to at least circle around uh riding that buggy but when is the action is going to happen probably let's just wait for the next phase stage number seven is going to dictate if ever that they're going to be seeing one team out of this game or probably crown the next team that is going to celebrate their chicken dinner Oh, which team is going to get their hands on the winner winner chicken dinner? This is the question. T2K, a while ago, they got the knockout onto themselves, but instantly gets that revival done back again. DRS, oh my god, it is DRS everywhere that you're seeing. Once again, against the team IHC, it was DRS, another elimination to their name, STR, but DR, oh my god, do you, they have eight eliminations so far. So if they get even Whoa. more, more eliminations to their name, then I can definitely say that even if they don't get the win of a chicken dinner they are still gonna get like at least 14 maybe 15 eliminations to their name t2k is here 
Rules OG, so Yog Y2. There is the team uh, T2K's uh, KY Let's see. and Ingenious. Uh, these four players, the Mini 14s, the M416 uh, that they have in their hands. Uh, this might provide them with the opportunity, but in 40 seconds. Uh, remember this, guys, that the circle is closing in. Stage 7 is about to like uh, become a reality. It is uh, a reality shattering move for so many players. Like Their hopes are going to be shattered because if the circle is not into their favor, they will be forced, whether they like it or not, to move into the circle and face the wrath of all the fires uh, that will be directed towards them. Uh, this area right here, it's very, very interesting. You know, you, you can see one warehouse, and then the rest of uh, the fight here is going to happen in the open. So, one of the trees here are going to at least hide their presence, but Kettle PZ out there exposed. Killer here with his killer instinct on hand, but we can see the push coming in from Stronger. He can, we can see Hopeless here. He's just making the attack. He's just making sure that there's hope for, uh, for his team. But hopeless again, converting Igneous here, crippling down and reducing the numbers. So this is going to be a three-way battle. Three versus three versus three. You can see Spike now trying to at least cripple down DRS once again. So they're multitasking. They're they're shifting their attention towards two teams. This is going to be a triangle of action right now. 17 seconds left before stage number seven closes, and all of these teams here. Thorix, they're in the edge of the circle. Let me tell you. Team T2K, they have the circle. Team DRS, they have the corner of the circle as well. But uh, Team SGR, they're the only one that need to move uh, a little, a little more inside of that circle. Spike uh, getting that almost uh, broken down buggy going ahead if it gets some shots it is going to be over for maybe this guy as well but hopeless coming in gets into the circle gets into the cover he prones down and once again like they're changing their like uh, locations their positions are uh, back to back back to back uh, they're trying to like uh, get that airdrop for themselves maybe but the airdrop only has the level 3 vest helmet and the amr if you cool. know how to use the sniper if you know how to use the bolt action then it is the gun for you then it is definitely the gun that you want to use at this point you want that one shot one elimination one kill like freak happening for your team but t2k t2k they're receiving the damage they're the one that is uh, right now on the like receiving the edge receiving the edge sleepy also behind the tree he has spotted to yog the sprays uh, are definitely there but no connectivity i don't know why he's using the ump to spray that long even though he has another gun he can actually put up the akm and scar in fact to the use uh, with the three time scope the tap tap fires are definitely gonna help him way but team ser hopeless uh, it is uh, no, his name shouldn't be hopeless anymore because he's giving so much hope to his team. But will DRS be able to like secure this elimination for themselves? Or no, the answer is no. But there we go. Finally, wins. This is going to be the move. This is going to be the moment. As soon as the circle is gonna close in, we are gonna see the three-way deadlock finally coming to an end. Oh no, this is going to be exciting. Sleepy here. Tries to utilize the buggy, gets close. T2K now firing some shots. If this buggy exploded right in front of his face, Leapy is going to sleep. He's, he's going to be knocked down for good. But we can see Marcelo trying to at least study the position of both of the teams that they're currently facing right now. What killer here. Trying to at least crawl his way through. We can see Spike hiding behind that airdrop. T2K now on the edge. Sleepy gets inside the smoke, gets close to the rock, gets close to T2K. So, Sleepy's in the middle, we can say. But no, he's just in the edge. So, the open area here will dictate if ever that they're going to be fighting up against each other. Sleepy with four grenades on hand. Is this one going to connect towards their position? No, it's not going to hurt Suyong and Roots. And but STR here, they're just watching the opportunity grow. Stage number eight now. We can see Soyog here hiding in his uh exploded vehicle right now. You know, you know, this is what one one uh one good thing about vehicles, you know, when 
when you're fighting in the open area, then you can rely on those uh, exploded uh, vehicles as a cover. So the bullets might not get through you, but hopeless here for stronger esports. This is going to to get them stronger. They need, just need to to at least get that uh, start. Probably how many minutes left? Three seconds before we can uh, close the circle. I think this is anyone's game. Oh no. Killer right now. He needs to be expect. He needs to expect the grenade. TG, right now. Is he gonna connect that nade? Killer. Killer not looking good here. Oh no, he spots the other members of DRS and DRS right now, Marcelo being knocked out oh sleepy. You God. need to keep yourself awake. <sighs> oh my goodness, this guy, this beast, he's doing a wonder for his team in a single <laughs> move. He made sure that the team of DRS also bled out. It is over for them. It is a one versus two fight that you have to pull out right now. From this point onward, your sprays are what's going to connect. He connects one spray. So y'all is down. Rule OG. It is all up to this guy. A 1v1 is finally happening. 3x versus a four time spray. And TG finally gets that elimination. SCR is out of the match. B2K getting that winner. Winner chicken dinner for themselves into the match. And number two, another. Great start from a different team this time around. It is the T2K. Oh my goodness. Wow, T2K. They just started the final four with four remaining yep. members. They lost one member. It's fine because it's going to be a three versus three versus three battle. But T2K, they just waited patiently because we can see stronger esports. They just wanted to get that kill. They need to, yeah. to catch up. They need to climb up the leaderboards. And that's why they need to act. So they spotted DRS and then they, they went in for that kill. And then stronger esports, they have successfully eliminated DRS out of the equation. But the next level threat is T2K. It's just Roots who managed to get the final blow. He, he managed to get five eliminations for his team. And for T2K, they produced a total of eight. While getting 1,546 damage, but you know the damage says here that Roots here, he managed to do a, the lo a lot of dirty work for his team in order for them to at least get this chicken dinner. Oh, definitely, definitely, they did a lot of things uh, for the team to get something uh, good going on. But uh, it is Roots OG guys that is the match. Uh, MVP this time, five eliminations, 902 damage, 166 healings, no assist so far whatsoever. This is something that we have to like uh, really point out. But the longest elimination is this time around off 328 meters uh, from this guy wow. that he has done. This is so far, I believe, the longest elimination in all the matches so far today. We have experienced the first two matches, but... After this, there are still four more matches, one more wrangle to go, then two, like Sandhawk is there, then Miramars are going to be there. But talking about the highlights of this match, the most intense move moments, it was 52 stalwarts, then we saw KS coming in as a third party team, stalwarts got those eliminations on themselves, but at the same time, at near the Yasnaya Poliana, the fight that was happening against team A1, TMT, Falcons, and KS, it was kind of intense too, wins. It was really intense. We see a lot of uh, movement happening towards the early stage. We see uh, teams here trying to at least catch up uh, during the uh, the earlier stage of this map. But, you know, the circle gets close. Things are just getting so much interesting. But DRS here, we can say that they fell short. You know, some of the teams here uh, that ended up in the top eight probably has the lower uh, points on the uh, previous map and this is the way uh, their way to catch up and uh you know stronger esports they did good they did so well in this map as well they produced a couple of points and especially tg here he managed to eliminate the entire uh, uh the rest of the standing members of the of the drs but you know when it comes to to dealing with t2k esports you know it's it, it's a really really hard thing for them to do because they managed to at least crouch and he, he managed to at least 
lock react on time in order for them to survive yeah. 18 points for t2k but drs here not mad they get 10 kills 15 points stronger esports surprisingly you know with seven elimination points they managed to at least accumulate a total of 13 points for record vibes with nine 52 esports and a1 tmt both of these teams they got eight points in the second era go map they definitely got some good points in the second Durango map, uh, 18 after that 15, then 13, then we move back away from the 10 like elimination markers for Miracle Vibe 9, then 8, uh, 52, A1 TMT, they're on the same. Let's see on the second chart how many points are we seeing at that point because this time around in this match, at least every single team we're doing something once at least i do believe every single team got at least one or two points aside from the team Aegon, because we saw them right at the start they were the first one to get not only just the elimination but not even a single elimination to their name in fact so it depends depends upon how the team Aegon is gonna like play their next couple of matches but the second page, we are seeing Major Pride, 6, IHC, 5, 5 for Regicide, Guts and Glory with 3, and Falcons on the hashtag number 11 with just 2. Meaning that it's either 1 or 2 points from number 12 onwards to the number 16, or we might just straight up see zeros in that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there, there, there's zeros. You know, Case Axe, he might, they managed to get 1. And of course, Raw, Star Wars, is AUNX98, and Hora Esports, they got none for this bout. You know, in order for them to catch up, they need to to do their very best in the final Aerogel map for, for this day. This is just day number one, but you know, you need to get those points in order for you to sleep well in day number one. And uh, for each and every one of you, guys, if you're not subscribed yet, Please do like, share, and subscribe uh, to this YouTube channel. And just look at the players. Road to Glory. These are the top players who managed to get a couple of kills. Good kills, actually. With Killer getting 7. Sleepy getting 8. XMPL managed to get 5. Roots in action also getting 5 points as well. I believe this is the uh, total uh, elimination. Because we see, we've yes. seen XMPL being eliminated early. Yes, this is the total eliminations. These are the fraggers of the past couple of matches. Killer YT on top of the seven eliminations, but going to the overalls ranking, guys. Oh. 36 oh. for the team at DRS. It is. They are still on the table. Toppers, uh, T2K, straight up. Uh, 16, 17 points difference. Uh, right from this point onward for the T2K with 19 points to their name Falcons for the same difference 19 points uh, but without the Venomina Chicken Dinner Stronger Esports 14 points even TMT with 14 points to their name as well Team Regicide with 13 out of uh, look of, out of all the fights that we have seen Falcons and DRS Gaming are the only two teams we are seeing going aggressively so far uh, I'd say uh, Vince because they were the one that got like more than 10 eliminations to their name in fact DRS is 21 in total but going to the second page raw esports 12 uh, 52 12 I'm seeing a lot of uh, same number on the points and this is really gonna bring out a lot of either destruction for the teams uh, or like a passive game styles well for Merkel of vibes here also gets 10 points IHC 7 Guts and Glory gets 6 you know on the first map, we see Raw Esports. They played so aggressively, but they, they fell short in the next map. But you know, some of them make their 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 stand in the second map, like Major Pride, who, who, who currently has six, AS Aegon XIA five, Stalwart Esports and KX, uh, uh, KS Axe, three points for them. And Hora Esports, you know, they managed to to bring a surprise for being the third party to eliminate uh, 52 esports but still two points they're just way too far to get to the top 10 and they have to, to make their move as early as now oh they definitely have to do something from this point onward and i'm talking about not just them but all the teams that are on the last like spot on the complete overall ranking the two points the three points even five points uh, are not gonna help you unless you like secure at least uh maybe six seven points each match 
I don't think that uh, anything else is going to happen. But guys, remember this. The further matches will be streamed on a router. You can see that on your side as well. So if you haven't downloaded router, what are you doing? Come on, go download router right now because the matches are about to start right there. From this point onward, the match number three, the third wrangle, we will see it over there. We will see you at Bruder. Until then, like the opportunities for the players uh, and the way that the teams are actually going on, somewhat aggressive uh, wins. Eesh, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of struggling going on around, but we will discuss this later, more later. Until now, guys, we will go in on a short, short break. See you at Bruder. Game dekhne ka itna load. To karna router download. Seven crore gamers and streamers are on router. Where are you? Game dekhne ka itna load. To karna router download. Seven crore gamers and streamers are on router. Where are you? Game dekhne ka itna load, to karna router download. 7 crore gamers and streamers are on router. Where are you? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here. You're still watching Gamers Grand Rumble, and this is currently the South Asia qualifiers for day number one. With me here, Thorix, I'm Vince G. We're delivering you the last Aerogill map for South Asia in day number one qualifiers. No, so if you haven't downloaded Router yet, might as well download it now. match was so good it was uh, a delight to my eyes i have to say that because uh, the way that the teams were taking that aggression taking those fights it was amazing the way like they had everything like thought into their back of their head it was a great start for them but yes wins uh, we have already switched to router remember this uh, and anyone that's uh, watching on router right now welcome and we all humbly welcome you on towards the stream as well but the match number three is about to start of the Grand Rumbles, Gamer Grand Rumble. It is once again going to be a wrangle, so not a lot of difference, but I really, really want to see how the plane line is going to affect this time. Because the past two matches, the first two matches, uh, it was almost, almost the same plane line, going from the same direction towards uh, that same ending as well. But this time around, it is starting once again from Zarki. All the way to the Milta power plant, I think. But no, it is Nova Rup Noi. <laughs> oh my god. Once again, same Once again. same plane line. Yeah. 
yeah, it, it, quite different angles, but still. Now, compared to the last map, they have the same end point. But, you know, the starting point here, might as well in the top of the shooting range. But earlier on, we have Sarki going towards the Snovka military base. But still, let's see how the players will dictate their, their journey here on the last Enagel map. Earlier, we've seen DRS. They managed to, to seal the chicken dinner, but... You know, on the second map, on the previous map, they fell short. They ended up in third place, but still, they're currently on top. So, if the same scenario, the same thing happened again, and they, the uh, DRS managed to at least stay in the top three, that means they're going to be on top as long as the Aragal map goes. But what I've been waiting for here is that AS, Aegon XI8, and Four Miracle Vibes is going to have their fight. In Sosnovka military base, if ever. Oh, definitely. They are once again gonna have their fight at the St. Moscow military base. But Circle once again <laughs> showing its face of the last one, last match. Going to the Severny side, hard northern angle. Once again, it is 60 by 40 ratio. Pachinki. Only one team is going to be at the Pachinki, but early fight is going to be headed towards the St. Voska military base island. I'm really going to be excited for that because uh, so far the score chart is 1-2-1 one, one for both of the teams. Uh, and both team has actually got themselves one elimination, but oh no, oh no, IQ is down on his knees. ASAG kind of like in a panicking situation because they don't have like a proper gun they don't have a auto gun to their name crypto is even struggling hard to find one but 4mv versus ashg Fala gets a knockdown on himself uh, there's still no gun near crypto the agi to de dead that's playing together with this guy has like two guns in fact not just one he has an aug he has an ace 34 ace 32 in fact uh, let's see if he's gonna give out one gun uh, to his teammates that is crypto but uh, for miracle vibes they have the best uh, so far confidence against the team asag because they not only have taken down one but two players of the team asag oh look at crypto he's very very alert he didn't commit in the top because oh he knows that someone God. is going to flank him on the sides. But, you know, Crypto here managed to at least get that better shot. He got a better advantage to knocking him down his opponent. But he's going to convert that into a kill point. Elimination points on hand. Crypto here waiting for the opportunity. Might be a trap. He He's just thinking that, you know, former vibes might go all out. And uh, he needs to regroup with Dead here. Crypto and Dead... They just need to uh, to make sure that they form a better tag team in order for them to deal with the rest of the members of Four Miracle Vibes. How many are there? They're still complete. They're scattered all throughout the military base. So it's going to be hard for ASA and XIA to, to react uh, up against uh, what Four Miracle Vibes are doing. Because Four Miracle Vibes here, they managed to get 12 points in total right now. And uh, for me, AS. Aegon XI8, they have to, to play safe in order for them to at least accumulate more and more points. Yeah, they definitely need to do something about this and they definitely have to like accumulate more points for themselves. Uh, but at this point, Sky Hora from the team Hora Esports, we are seeing them at the Yasna Poliana. Close to them is going to be another team. And uh, let's uh, see if that team is actually like going to be able to to like get some shots on the players or not because Skyhora he's kind of far away his teammate on the other hand is close is in the close vicinity but no nothing so far nothing we haven't even seen a single like complete elimination of the team so far Aegon X, AS, XI8 they were taking the fight a while ago even now they're surviving as a duo versus a squad at this particular area Doc who got the knockout from Crypto's hand also has received a revival but for Miracle Vibes from this point onward they will be pushing towards the player grenade in the hand of Crypto will he connect will he connect that grenade that's the bigger question because in 0 0.5 seconds the grenade was about to explode nobody is there nobody got the damage once again crypto needs to push forward he has so far a vector in hand and i don't know why he's using the vector at this particular angle at this particular region because i do believe he can do much more much 
better with the ev oh my god okay that is one of the reason why he could have done much better with the, the uh, m249 but the m249 only has 15 bullets oh, oh, oh. in it the molotov comes in crypto has to get out the vector connect uh, and nine bullets uh, are they gonna be enough to complete the elimination the answer is no doc gets crypto down it is a complete elimination it is all up to dead he gets a 32 shot on the player gets a knockout the player is coming in for the rescue but but is he gonna go away is he gonna like change the position this is the question that I need to see. This is the question that I need answers for. Because uh, he got the knockout. He, uh, he has made at least uh, some panicking situation for the team. But oh. as soon as they're back on their feet, uh, Refus with a single HP gets that nail in the coffin. Aegon, AS, I8 uh, is out of this match. They're out. So might as well in there and go. These are the notable fights that we need to look forward to. It's it's up between uh, for Miracle Vice and uh, ESA good XI8. And uh on the other side of the map, I believe this is YP, this Naya Poliana. It's gonna be uh Hora up against a one TNT. So TMT here, they're just checking out corners, they're just taking any possibilities. They're trying to uh okay, he's calling out his friends. They need they need backup, they need to engage towards Hora, Hora. Who currently has two points. They need to win this battle. They need to eliminate A1 TMT. Who currently has 14 points. Who currently is in fifth place. No fear. Seems like he's not scared of anything. Because they are committed towards getting those kills. And now, they already lost one. They lost Sinister in that bout. So A1 TMT. They are going to fight with only three members. Looking good for Hurrah. But... How are, gonna, how are they going to finish this up? How are they going to annihilate the entire A1 TMT and push them down in order for them to climb up the, the leaderboards? Oh, yes. This is a big question. How are they going to, like, uh, climb up on the leaderboards? Because uh, at this angle, you have to be, like, uh, it's almost this match is the halfway point for the day number one and if you haven't even got like a good points for the for yourself i don't know what you're doing at this point for the players but uh, 15 teams still in this area stalwart esports taking the fight look at this the elimination on 52 esports is happening but on the meanwhile team hora esports also have uh, their hands are full with another oh. team. Uh, the grenade, once again, pulling the pin, putting the pin back on. Stalwarts Esports, 52 Esports. Uh, oh my god, come on, at least go push. Uh, I need some push. I need some aggression here from the teams. Uh, Hora Esports, they have, like, uh, I'd say, they have nothing to lose uh, at this point. They can either go take the fight against the team A1 TMT, get them eliminated, or they will get the elimination onto themselves as well. But Grenade elimination uh, by the hand of Team uh, Stalwarts Esports player one. Uh, at the same time, he gets the knockdown on himself. But oh my god, the circle <laughs> this time around it has favored somewhat of the water areas. Shooting range, the complete open field. Uh, he, it is going to do a lot of uh, difficulty. It is going to provide a lot of difficulties for so many players. Just look at the eastern corner. There are more than three teams uh, at that angle but at the same time we are seeing the fight oh. finally being happen oh my god the the bison coming and not slow getting some damage on the players but uh a1 tmt once again hey, they couldn't survive now just all a solo player hitman what are you gonna do hitman he needs to hit those nades towards the side of hurrah but hurrah here having the upper hand they're looking good at this fight oh he managed he managed no fear managed to spot hitman while running away and he celebrated it off with a dance oh, so hurrah man. for hurrah for getting that final blow for getting that annihilation things are looking good and the uh, hurrah esports if they manage to at least get a couple of kills more in this final area map they can like climb up the leaderboards as well and uh, this is really really good because from from the dead last they climb up there now they're 13 and major pride they're out once again thanks to raw player two for stalwart esports this is going to be regicide and uh regicide and stalwart esports 
So Falcon is up on their tails. So this is going to be the former and the new ones. So we can see player two trying to spot Falcon Esports and Falcon Esports waiting for the opportunity. Player two, are you trapped? Where are you gonna go? You're in the watchtower, you're in the wizard tower. So player two here hiding his presence. But he got cornered here. Here comes Icy, goes with a buggy. He's not gonna show any remorse at all. He converted player two into an elimination, and that is your first elimination by Falcon Esports. And still, they're on the hunt, they're looking for more. They cannot be contented at second place. 20 points in total, 16 points behind DRS. Hopeless, on the other hand, speaking of DRS, DRS is the target right now. XMPL again being eliminated first. So, XMPL being the key guy into providing more and more elimination for, for DRS, but uh, seems like he's always the person who gets to go first in the lobby because of how aggressive the other players are. And it seems like stronger here, they played stronger than the first map. They are trying to aim once again for the chicken dinner. They fell short, but they want more. IHC, on the other hand, IHC, they got compressed. Regicide is there. Guts and Glory is there. Raw, Maxim. So he's gonna wait for that opportunity to strike. And now we can see Guts and Glory trying to open field. I try to open up uh, those shots. We can see here some uh, close range counter with a shotgun. But he needs to get close. Raw. This means war. And they cannot be left behind. They need to catch up. They need those points. Where is Raw currently? They're now on the fourth place. Prabin gets that kill. Wow. What what an engagement here. Jiggle. Trying to jiggle up. You can see Raw here very, very hot right now. IHC Esports, even Godless. He needs to call for a god right now in order for him to save his life. It seems like here, Demo here, there's no time for him to to rescue there's no time for him to revive though so let's see how are they going to to survive but okay demo here he got hit and run by Maxum. i see an action action here what's careless out t2k is in the vicinity as well and now we can see careless here without a single care at all guts in glory it's all about guts they spilled their guts already on the battleground courtesy of team falcons as we can see top here on this top of the house Watching for stronger, stronger on the other on the other, other side of the building. Case Axe managed to managed to spot Godless, called him, and IHC got eliminated. How many teams are left? Ten teams are there. Spike gets icy. So this is going to be messy. It's going to be a really, really hard thing for them to do. West Hopeless DG and Spike. Now they're going to be doing everything that they can in order for them to at least oh. get those kills as well. While I wait for my buddy, Spike Prabin. Now we can see Raw here having a lot of vehicles. Actually, three of them are now riding those vehicles up. We can see Maxim here. Definitely. He's just walking, but you know, yep. he prepared he, he prepare for real action. So, might as well wait for for raw oh. to pop up but you know they managed to, to to climb up once again and now they're, they're on the third spot but we can see regicide here ghost he managed to at least cripple down one but what's up going to be up next in this kind of battle shooting rage has become more and more crowded right now igneous he managed to spot west and spike gets stopped knocking him down but where is the cleanup where is the elimination point but still 40% or 30% water area. This circle is very, very insane. <laughs> it is. It is so <laughs> insane right now. 
we, we we saw like land areas the first two matches now the third wrangle is like yes i'm straight up gonna go into the water side you can't do anything at this point 50 50 area water and land let's see how these 10 teams are actually going to like hold their feet hold their grounds from this point onward messi hora right now coming uh, slightly slightly trying his uh, way to get into the circle but uh, he might not be able to because uh, this is Ooh. the point where he has to be careful on where he's going but drs in the meanwhile we can see the kill feed he got one knockdown at the same time their car is also on the verge of, of being uh, like a burst it down and actually they do it themselves they're like we're not gonna let anyone do that we're just gonna do that uh, ourselves uh, once again a hard cover is a good cover and you have to remember that marcelo waiting for the opportunity as well trying to spot down the players uh, from all the different angles uh, but no fear hora from this point onward from this particular angle he's slowly and steadily moving into the same vicinity whereas his rest of the teammate is and uh, they might they might take this opportunity together to take a look at the team drs now this is going to be more and more exciting for miracle vice on the other hand they got eliminated but look at that raw here popping they want drs out of this game now it's up to sleepy he needs to be wide awake because raw here is on the hunt they're looking for blood they're looking for violence we can see how violent they are and that made maxim Good finish for this guy. He eliminated Sleepy. And now they can dominate here. Now we can see Raw being second. They're just way behind DRS right now. And they can catch up because DRS, they only got one point. 37 points. But how many points for Raw? They even overtook Falcon Esports. But Falcon Esports, they're currently in the game as well with four complete members. So it's not really, really hard for them to catch up. So for compare comparing 24 with 25 points, Falcon Esports, if they manage to commit, oh no, I see. He got knocked down by Nade and Hopeless gets messy. Okay, that is a really, really oh no situation for the side of Hora. Stronger. They got eliminated and we're down to final seven teams. Sky popping those smokes. They need cover because we can see how violent T2K is. They only got one point, but that means they're very, very hungry. They're looking for more. They cannot be stopped after the chicken dinner. This is the opportunity for them to at least get the back-to-back -back one. And uh, Roots here is going to try to at least weed out this uh, grass. And hurrah, no more. How many teams are left? It's up to six. While uh, KS Axe here complete 14. And they can still climb up. Oh my god, just the six oh teams, no. KS, Stalwarts, R3G, T2K, and Falcon from and alongside of Raw. But uh, T2K had the best man advantage. Now things are looking grim for them. KS on the meanwhile, they also has uh, the four players still standing, but one player on the verge, on the knockdown side. Uh, let's see how, how he's gonna like uh, go, where he's gonna go from this point onward. And at the same time, he has to, he has to make sure, like, uh, from this point angle, from this point onward, where he's gonna, like, take a shift to or two, where he's gonna, like, uh, move, and the locations, uh, uh, the positions, I'd say, that they need to have for themselves, because this is not a good move. This is the time you need to, like, repositionize yourself for the better stages, for the next stages. This is the stage fifth. Remember this. If you're outside of the circle, you are instantly like on the, like, uh, I'd say, a high risk side, high alert side. Nurzet moving in near the Team Stalwarts Esports uh, angle. Player one in the front line, DBS, but no DBS is going to do anything on player one. Player one takes Nurzet down. It is a knockdown, but IC comes in for the rescue and for the cover. Yeah, the, thanks to the accuracy, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Regicide here tried to bounce towards the bullet. Nirsen, on the other hand, I see Team Falcons here. You know, with this kind of situation, 
you know, I sometimes action is just there. You know, there's a lot of fights that you can uh, you cannot miss. But we can see Team Falcons here trying to prove that they can catch up without the five teams left and top here. He managed to came. Uh, he he managed to come with the rest of the squad here, Team Falcons here. But we can see how how top wants to dominate the entire game because all, on the rest of the two maps he's out. So this is going to be a redemption battle for him. He needs to accumulate more and more points. How many kills does Top has? Three. So he can like get more and more points if he managed to at least commit towards the right target. E2K, very, very hot. But ooh, Madcap receiving bullets takes to Top. And Faisal here being revived. Now back in action. Shifts towards the Regicide. And Regicide here, they're going to go near KS Axe. You know, KS Axe enjoying the loot. Takes to the airdrop. I see now trying to at least scare off T2K. T2K, one of the strongest teams and I, that I've seen, but still they need more points in order for them to at least climb again on the scoreboards. But Raw here, even though with one remaining member, they can like end up in second and third place overall if ever that Falcons did good. Oh my God, Team Falcons definitely, definitely. Did wonders in this match. Seven eliminations so far to their name is uh, a good number. It's a decent number. And coming on top six so far, it is a good one as well. But R3G is in the front line. KSX versus R3G. It's happening. Last Snake uh, gets knocked down. Will he get the confirmation on himself? Because uh, what I'm seeing is Team R3G. The rest of the players are getting spotted. They're getting the damage onto themselves. Uh, Vessel slowly and steadily pushing action at the same time. He's also coming in close. While Snake gets the confirmation by the hand of Mad Cat. KSX uh, now just a duo. They're surviving. They need to be really, really careful. Falcon has also lost one of his uh, own players. Two oh. players. That's a third one down. Action is going to bring uh, the last reaction for the team. But will he be able to prevail in this fight oh. or not? The answer is no. A while ago. Somewhat of a, we can say T2K is on a trio because they got the revival done. But Raw, Raw, the solo guy, what he's going to do, let's find out. I'm much more invested in what's going to happen on the side of Raw. Because Raw here, they managed to survive wrong, uh, longer. Even though with one remaining member compared to Team Falcons. Falcons, they they played so aggressive. They, 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 pl they, go, they went in for the push. They somehow... And uh, remove some of the places. They somehow shake off the uh, the game, but not enough. We can see Mad Cat here becoming more and more mad towards the side of Regicide, who was here being knocked down. And oh, okay, Mad Cat here. He managed to scratch his way into two members, but they have to survive. What? T2K and Raw become the top two. And surprisingly, Maxim made it to the top two. Now it's do or die, give and take. T2K knows that this is going to be their game once again. T2K with the back, the back chicken dinner, but Suyong here is in the verge of being eliminated. You don't want that. You need to celebrate completed. Completed. So Suyong here running low, but they got the information. So we can see Rooks here rotating, trying to distract Maxim. And now Rooks goes low ground. But from the side, he goes raw. Foil oh, okay. short, but it's a back-to-back -back chicken dinner for T2K. T2K, T2K, and once again, it is T2K with the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Two back-to-back -back chicken dinners are definitely going to help them a lot. So much. But yes, individual, a total of, in fact, eight eliminations uh, to the players. Uh, a great number, a great number that they have secured for themselves. But I want to see the individual eliminations. I want to see how much damage uh, a single player did. How much damage, how much kills uh, like a single player got for themselves, for the team, in fact. Uh, and on top of that, uh, what's the total 
like a number of eliminations for the rest of the players as well 1200 total damage overall number one ranking they have successfully taken away the team at drs out of the throne they have secured the throne for themselves ingenious has 383 damage four eliminations Siog got a zero elimination and 249 damage alongside of for rules og with four elimination 351 damage but at the same time Kyletzi also has 240 damage with zero elimination, but Maxim from Raw is going to be the MVP. 4-4, 980 damage, 177 healing, meaning that he only barely applied three first aid kits, because from 0 to 75, that's one kit, two kits and three kits, that's an easy like 210, so barely three first aid kits, but longest elimination. Vince, 88 meters, not even 100. Yeah, he got close, but you know, he also got close into getting the chicken dinner. But you know, with his manpower, this guy, he's all alone. He's just, he's just an obvious chicken dinner for a T2K. But you know, you just have to give your props to Maxim and for the rest of the team raw for, for dominating this map. They, they produce a lot of kills. And of course, with the six points, in placement now they overtook falcon but t2k i believe that they're back in the second place and that will put uh raw behind them as the third placer and that means falcon can fall uh towards the fourth place so in the three arangel maps alone you can see the shakeups already just look at that look at how they eliminated it. look at how uh what they did to deal with the drs and drs who's currently at first, but T2K, no doubt, with their consistency on the uh, on the two maps that we've seen them, T2K here is on the hunt. They wanted to prove that even in the qualifier stage, they can dominate, but they have to watch out. They don't, for me, they don't need to, to exert much more effort in order for them to pop off because, you know, you, you need to be prepared for the elimination rounds, but at the same time, if you're going to be aiming towards the finals, you just need to be prepared. You just you, you don't need to show your opponents uh, all your toolkits. But T2K here, 18 points. I think this is the same points that they had on the uh, previous map. Raw Esports, same, actually, with yeah. 18 points. Star Wars Esports, 11. KS Axe and Falcons with 10 points. Regicide, 8 points. So that means Raw with only one player he managed to push it out and make it towards 18 points kudos to this guy maxus kudos kudos definitely maxus uh, was the guy was uh, uh was the mvp in fact and uh, i think that name there was for a reason but aside from that i'm really seeing some consistencies from the players uh, we can already see like some uh, seven, eight eliminations. Hora Esports also having those seven in total points in this match. Four Miracle Vibes with the four, three for Stronger, one for DRS, one for Guts and Glory. I don't know what happened to the team DRS in this match because uh, the way they were playing the first two wrangles, uh, I did not expect them to like. Uh, fall this hard in the third match of the wrangle. But 52 Esports with the one, and the rest of the third page. Uh, is on the zeros ihc major pride a1 tmt asagi8 all of them but not even a single point they need to bounce back they need to climb up in order for them to at least qualify their team but here are your top players uh on the third map so maxim here nine eliminations roots as well from t2k cut nine elimination killer Still with seven points. Sleepy. Ooh. From DRS. Got nine elimination in action here. Also got seven. So we see three nines and two sevens. How many trolls being used here? Seems like killer. Unleashed 19 trolls here. Mixture of frags, smokes, and of course mollies. And uh still. Okay, there's a there's a change. T2K now getting 37 points. Two chicken dinners, that is why they have stolen the top spot for DRS. And DRS was pushed back 37 as well. Raw Esports, 30 points. Falcons, just one point behind. 
if if Raw Esports got eliminated early, that means they're gonna be on fourth place. Regicide twenty one and stronger esports with seventy. Interesting shake up. What a map. What an arrow go for me. Three arrow goes to dictate what's going to happen, but you know, Sandhawk and Miramar is coming up next. Still a one uh and Stalwart and for Miracle Vibes, both of them. 14 points, KSX and 52 esports, 13 points. Oh, yes, so that is definitely there. But on the third chart, it is once again on the overall 9, 7, 7, 6, and 5. ASAGI 8. And now on the bottom line, five points to their name. They have to do something. And I'm talking about all the teams that is right now on the third page from 12 onward to the number 16. Let's see what the next match is going to bring them because uh, with this, uh, the wrangle is done and dusted wins. Uh, we are going to go officially into our Sandhawk match in a little while. And Sandhawk, you know for sure it is known for all the early stages fights. We have already seen the early stages fight, but in Sandhawk, it's going to be even more intense. There can also be a third party. There can also be anything from at any point but those are the discussions those are the talks that we have to talk after a short break do not go anywhere stay here stay connected guys we'll be right back so one we want to see him and it's a boy okay go on okay go back yes he finds a way out of this one like in the rest of the pack of the global esports sound game dekhne ka itna load to karna router download 7 crore gamers and streamers are on router where are you so one we want to see him and it's a boy okay Game dekhne ka itna load to kar na router download 7 crore gamers and streamers are on router where are you so one we want to see him and it's a boy can icon of dekhne ko milega yes he finds a way out of this godlike is a step back to the global esports sound game dekhne ka itna load to kar na router download 7 crore gamers and streamers are on router where are you After those three Aragal maps, we're gonna be heading straight towards the Pastor map. Welcome to Sandhawk, and welcome back here in the PUBG Mobile Gamers Grand Rumble South Asia Qualifier. This is just day number one. Vince G, together with Torix, we're gonna be delivering you the action that you need. And if you're watching, shout outs to each and every one of you who's currently watching right now via router. So, 
that map was insane. That that finale on the Erangel, it dictates who is going to be on top. And uh, it seems like T2K managed to at least get that win. Well, they definitely managed to get that kill, like a win, and at the same time, the top position on top of that. So definitely, uh, if DRS didn't do anything from this point onward, they might just lose their number one spot. T2K might just uh, be the crown champion of that uh, position. Not only it is the halfway point of the day number one that has already been completely done and dusted, the water testing side as well. The moment this three matches has ended, now you have to change your strategies. You cannot just uh, play even on the uh, Sandhawk or the Miramar matches, same as you have played on the Wrangle one. You have to do something different. You have to make sure that your strategies, that your rotations, even your like locations the drop locations are going to be different as well but here we go guys in time we are about to see the start of our sand hawk match let's see what the plane line is going to be because i'm really excited for that vince my only concern is is the plane line going to be same as what we saw in the Erango or or what well, you know the Erango saga. Some of some of uh, some of the play lines kind of kind of like have a similar pattern. Yeah. In the in the, the lower island, the Roboneptoya side, or probably Sosnovka side, starting on top, going downwards. But you know, I believe that the pattern can still apply on the Sandhawk map. But you know, it it, it won't affect the uh, gameplay. But yeah. still, let's see how are they gonna deal with that. But Interestingly, I wanted to see a new flight path for a change. Might as well from east to west, or probably from uh, from uh, south going north, going upwards. But let's see how are they going to at least deal with that kind of situation. You know, as we are waiting for uh, Sandhawk map to to commence, because this is a different map. Uh, like Aragon, as you mentioned here, uh, Torix. You know they have to adjust in the. Uh, jungle warfare because in yeah. this map there are a lot of trees uh there there are different drop spots that are very very uh congested as well might as well be invested in boot camps or uh might as well go towards the uh uh paradise resort if ever okay I, th that is a change because from from uh south and uh, i mean from east they go from uh from west they go to east uh definitely from west they go to east and this can be a change it's just the direct like the direction is somewhat so similar it's still going west to east uh, that is what i'm seeing that for sure but it's Sandhawk. Even though if the plane line is not in your favor, you can still go to the place that you want to go at. But what I really want to know and what I really want to see is if any team is actually going for that clash drop. If any team is going for the early fights. And yes, into the kill feed, we can already see the fights happening. We are seeing Team 52 Esports versus the Team IHC at the area of the camp Alphas and Mountains. On the other side, we are seeing the team Ahura kind of near the team KS. Uh, Mamba, in fact, is kind of far away from his team. I don't know why, what happened to this guy. But yes, these are the only two teams that I'm seeing kind of like close together each other. Other than that, uh, I don't think anything else is happening. But boot camp. Okay, there we go. Another team at the boot camp. Uh, they're taking the fight. S12Ks, 1897s are coming their ways. The DBS is also doing a lot of damage. And before we even head to the circle side, we have seen the annihilation of not one, but two different teams, maybe. Because the number is on 14, now 13. 13. What? Okay, that was fast. You call for Sandhawk, you call for fast face, and players and teams, they're just dropping so quick. And, he, and I, I, I was surprised as well because Falcons, they're not even prepared to, to face Guts and Glory. And this is the only time on this day that they're going to be playing Sandhawk. So if you wanted to at least catch up, it's going to be tomorrow in the final Sandhawk map. We can do esports now down. We're down four teams. We're down four teams. 12 teams are now trying to fight for that chicken. That was real quick. Even Raw got eliminated that early. Wow. 
what happened quite a bit uh quite a recap here raw falcon star wars 52 these are the 14s that needs to go but we can see as ago next i8 after they fell short in their angel this is the redemption arc this is the map that they can catch up they are now targeting ihe demo being knocked down here and here comes godless here trying to provide help or probably an ambush waiting for the opportunity for someone to get close but is this going to be a matter of who he managed to get demo out of that hot so but okay crypto once again to the moon for this guy he managed to at least knock him off but Godless say you're on your own, pal. <laughs> Definitely, he is on his own. ASAG, I ate so far. They have the one elimination as well to their name, and I think they got it against the Team MP at this time. So, whether they got it on the Team MP or not, this is what we have to see from this point onward, because the 12 teams are definitely definitely elimination hungry and they want more eliminations uh, than anybody else they want to make sure that every match is into their favor they get like one two even three eliminations back to back at this time but talking to the team a1 tmt so far this is one team uh, another team in fact in this match that hasn't even taken their first step into the fight all four players remaining into the match all four players alive they had their arsenal, they have their like a loot completed up. Now moving to the fights angles. But Hora Esports, uh, the same thing I can say for them as well because they, I don't know, that average damage is off like the complete uh, maps or if it's just for this map because it should have been, should have been different. Uh, if, if it's for this match, it should be zero at this time. But uh, going to the back back to like the players uh, scenarios just look at how slow paced the smash has become right in an instant wins a moment ago we were seeing back to back fights but once again as soon as i said this match is going passive the match says and no we don't do that we go for the aggressive side a1 tmt versus four miracle vibes uh, it has finally begun both parties uh, has the first initial knockouts welcome to wakanda you assume saying Passive? Nope, we don't do that here. So there's no passive anyways. We are now seeing a lot of action pack fights, bullets running down the entire map. So for Miracle Vibes now, try to stay alive because how many teams are in front of them? We can see Guts and Glory, of course, A1 TMT as well in the area, but they just they decided Guts and Glory, they decided to climb up and get the better view for miracle vibes Grievous, the only standing member but okay look at careless he commits towards eliminating one from a1 tnt but uh here comes knight going towards his vehicle is he gonna get a better view no he's gonna ride the vehicle just to get close 41 players and now we can see dead gets godless the last standing player for the inc we're down to 11 squads Grievous. Might as well call this guy Refuse because he refused to get down. <laughs> now, it's up to this guy who's throwing in some nade. He's gonna try to make Refuse explode. And we can see Hitman from outside. He's just drinking some soda to keep himself up. But Doc here, he's not gonna be helped by Refuse. So he, he it's up to this guy to, to stay on top just like what Maxim did. And we can see the airdrop here. It's on his own, but you know, better to be safe. Hitman here, swift to uh, shift, uh, shift the towards careless, and careless is now down for the count. Oh, they're down for the count as well. A1 TMT down to the last guy standing as well. Throughout a sinister death storm, they couldn't do anything against the teams and uh, they got eliminated. But this time, the final hope uh, is still alive. The team A1 TMT still has the opportunity to like do something, get some eliminations, get some more position points for themselves, and uh, make sure that his team is going to stay up in the lobby, in the match, till at least the top five, top four maybe. Or even the top three, but uh, those are just some wishful thinkings because as soon as he spotted, it's over for the team A1 TMT as well. Four eliminations to their name in this match. They got some early eliminations. They couldn't get even a single position point for themselves as they get that elimination onto themselves on the hashtag number 11. Now, 
with 34 players uh, still remaining into the match. Uh, let's see who wins. Uh, like the circle, the shift of the circle has gone to the northern angles. Uh, and the teams, uh, for, and I'm talking about the teams at the ruins, the boot camps, the pineon areas, uh, how they are going to like stay into the safer angle, stay into the safe side, and at the same time, uh, move <sighs> into the circle. Yeah, they need to move. They need to, to make sure that they are going to be safe here in the circle. But the question is, who is going to get close? What I'm seeing right now is that, you know, in easy access, we can see Regicide. They, like, easily cross the bridge and then go towards the lower left side of the map. Uh, this is the circle, rather, in order for them to, to get close. But KS Axe here, who's currently in number 11. So they're on the hunt to get those kills. Major Prime, who's failing, uh, who's failing, uh, to get those couple of kills on the Aragal map. This is the, the map for them to shine because they already got three points in this map. T2K on the other hand, looking to expand their lead. One point isn't enough. They're looking for more, but Major Prime is just around their area. So Igneous here, not giving up. Okay, you can do it. There you go. He managed to climb up the the roof of the building, calling some shots, but he went down again because there's no one uh, near the area. So we can see Igneous here. Star Wars is, you know, just near the area. They just have to protect this area because there's a possibility that someone might cross the bridge, and this is the perfect area for them to gatekeep. This definitely is a perfect gatekeep area for them, but... Uh... There is one thing still, uh, and that is that there's a lot, a lot of area still available for the teams. If they want to, they can actually like uh, uh, go into the circle from that like open areas. Even in the waters, they can straight up uh, go dunk in the waters, uh, change their locations. But kill feed once again, uh, showing us some eliminations of Team ASIH right now. So far, they have two, but. Uh, they got the knockouts, uh, and I want to see how and where they are fighting. Which angles do they have against the other team? Uh, and I really want to like uh, witness uh, what their next move is going to be. But going to the teammate of Pride, they have lost one of their players. Uh, Elementrix is so far away from his team that he's going to get spotted. He's going to get instant knock, and maybe now from this point onward, it is going to be, yes, definitely an instant thirst. A T2K, even in this match, they have so far managed to secure the two eliminations, but DRS uh, is on the same point as the team T2K. So this match is going to decide which team, which one of them, in fact, is going to come out on the top. Let's see who is going to come out on top. KS Axe here, they're wielding their, their guns, so they're, they're being patient. But, you know, seeing the bottom team surviving inside of map, this is, the, uh, this is the way for them to accumulate more and more points. But there's a lot of happening here in the kill feed, except PL managed to get ghost. But Roshan here is going to get sleepy. That's a trade. Killer! Swell gets two members of the Regicide, but here comes Noki, knocking down two. But is he going to commit? Is he going to expose himself? Because XMCL is just waiting for Noki to pop his head off. Marcelo is just there as well. And here comes Sleepy trying to hide his presence. Goes towards the rock. But we can see Vast Snake as well. They're splitting up. And XMCL now becoming more and more confident. Marcelo waiting for Noki. Now running low. He was forced to use a health kit. Now. XMPL goes at the edge. Noki is going to make this hard for them. Sleepy no more. We can see Killer on his last breath. Noki healing himself up and now Nade from XMPL is going to seal the deal. Regicide is out. Oh yes, Regicide is out. Uh... And now we are down also to the nine total teams. STR being spotted by the Team T2K, but uh, ooh, things are not looking good for the Team T2K so far because one of their players is right now knocked out. Team Guts and Glory, they are near the Team 4 Merkel vibes. We are seeing the Team KS, T2K kind of like together against each other. DRS is still outside the circle. Players uh, who are trying to get inside of that circle, they are definitely have this easy. At this point, 
it's going to be an easy entry for them inside of that circle because uh, nobody, nobody is constantly contesting back there. But same time, the circle is what's going to make the difference because some of the area of the circle is still in the water. Remember this, that the next stage can be either detrimental or in really, really in the favor of a single team might just might be because uh, we are seeing a lot of like all of the cities that are in the circle being contested by the players whether it's the hard shift towards the northern or the southern angle it will depend which team will have the upper edge which team will have like uh, which team have to move and uh, take that uh, I'd say hard shift for themselves or they're gonna be just easy and chilling inside of that circle and waiting for the other team to come in now let's see the top teams here trying to catch up with each other, DRS and T2K. But DRS here is gonna have some problems because uh they already had they already lost two members for their team. Nine teams in this crucial side of map. But I have one question for you, Torix. Yes. Have you seen a circle in the water but hold that thought we can see xmpl here committing towards iqq and of course asx uh Aegon xi8 lost one member as well so how many for the Aegon xi8 so two more members but going back to my question have you seen a water circle i have i have seen a <laughs> lot of water circles and uh, let me tell you they are fun they are definitely fun, fun. Fun. Oh my god, everyone trying to drown each other? Yes, that is definitely <laughs> fun. And uh, you have to see it to like uh, know the excitement on, ooh, who's going to go in the water? Who's going to receive the damage? Uh, no, but uh, going back to the fight, so once again, going back to the action of the match, uh, we are seeing still no, no fight whatsoever happening gg got the knockout on them so but an instant revival is coming on the way Zephyr will give the revive tonight but in the meanwhile the players are definitely entering in the players are definitely coming in close for that aggressive stance uh, xmpl in the meanwhile he has spotted the team gg at this point he's gonna throw the molotov he's gonna like hold the aggression of the players but he's kind of i'd say alone oh. in this area he he needs to make sure that he is in the safer side which he isn't he gets that elimination on himself uh, R drs now with this out of the match wow eight teams so this means that every team here will be getting as low as one point in the placement point so that means if you wanted to stay on top, if you wanted to accumulate more and more points, you need to stay longer. You see, you need to stay alive longer than each and every one. So, I'm, I'm really, really rooting for for the teams in the bottom side, like Hora, Major Pride, and A, uh, ASA Good XIA to 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 win this map because you know this is going to be their chance to at least climb up and make a surprise entry. They wanted to qualify. They need to. To make sure that they're in the top ten, so this is the open the open opportunity for them to do that. Because uh, if ever that they dominate and they pop off in sign up map, that means it's going to be a momentum shifter. They're gonna be playing more and more aggressively, just like what we've seen. A guts in glory. Actually, it's not about the guts, but it's all about bringing the glory. Right now, how many kills on their banner? Eight points, and they're looking for more. ASA good XI eight is now out with only two uh, eliminations on their side, but still, they will be getting one point in the placement. So, Guts and Glory, it's now Knight and Hosaifa99, who's working hand-in-hand in, hand in order for them to make sure that they're going to be open to, to get more kills. But in terms of aggression, we can see GG, Guts and Glory, is on the lead with 10 points. But, hurrah here, making some noise, they got West. An evil station being knocked down by Hopeless. So, attacker here inside the dump truck. Hopeless got knocked down by that name. And he goes kaboom. Where is the finish? I'm waiting for that commitment. Attacker, he just needs a little bit more time. He definitely needs a little bit more time, but will the time present him or not? A grenade comes super close to the player. 
but he still manages to survive. Attacker, he's gonna throw the grenade, and now it might, might hit. It might just hit the player, but no, I was wrong. It's not gonna hit, but the grenade from the other side, it's definitely going to do a lot of damage. He's forced to heal himself at this point, whereas the players, uh, you can already see in the backside, there's another team that is coming in close, and uh, as soon as they're gonna be close into the players, uh, Oh my god, let me tell you, it's going to be a lot of fun! Uh, but Malikora in the water, he's just swimming alongside of his teammate. Both of the players are just going from the water angle. But Team Strang Stronger Esports, uh, can they find the Team No Fear? Can they spot the Team No Fear? This is my question, because as soon as they're going to spot one player, they're instantly going to know that the rest of the team is in the water as well. He spots one player, he shoots at him, he gets the knock, he gets the confirmation. Oh my god, Spike, you are definitely a beast at this angle. But at the same time, they got the damage, they got the eliminations, and Team SPR... <laughs> In a blink of an eye, after getting a single elimination on Team Ahura, they are done and dusted. We can see Spike earlier planting those bullets in the water. And now, for Hora, they're struggling to get close. They're struggling to get inside the circle because of T2K. T2K are gatekeeping Hora Esports so hard because T2K... They just wanted to get that chicken dinner once again. Hora being eliminated. Seems like T2K will be getting that upper hand once again. But oh, Rifus, okay? Rifus is still in play. And two members of GG here. I think T2K wants GG out. Oh, Guts and Glory, they have to be careful. But for Rifus, this is a re. This shows that this guy refuses to at least get down. Just like what the. Uh, I believe the other player did in the last map. So either endure the pain, end up second place, uh, raise my hand up, offer myself to T2K because I know that this is going to be a lost cause. I probably deny myself up. So T2K has the high chance of getting the chicken dinner. But what can happen if GG and Formerical Vibes manage to collaborate and work together? You know, just praise those shots. Reduce the numbers of T2K and then uh, make the possibility. Okay, the the airdrop is in the water. Hosaifa calling the shots. Are they going to go? But I think it's, it's better to stay safe. Better to at least make sure that we're going to be in. And uh, surprisingly, Rifus, he got spotted by T2K. He definitely needs to. Like, at this point... Point, you have to know your surrounding you have to know your opponents at the same time you have to know like what the other person in fact uh, is also thinking at this uh, particular moment because at this point now from this point onwards uh, it is uh, a matter of factor of spotting as soon as you're gonna spot one player you're instantly gonna throw all your arsenal on towards that player but Josef I just barely barely surviving that grenade his luck hasn't run out yet. Uh, another grenade comes in, but that was all the luck that he has. He used it. Now it's all up to Knight. Knight in the compounds. Uh, let's see what Knight uh, is going to show for the players. Uh, what they are going to do from this point onward. Oh, no. This is the oh. moment. This is oh. the opportunity that the, the team, T2K, has presented for themselves. Oh. And uh, now with this, Guts and Glory is out, T2K! Another, another winner, winner, chicken dinner to their name. I believe that T2K, this is going to be their third chicken dinner. Back-to-back-to-back, yes. to back to back, consecutive chicken dinners. It just shows that T2K... Is sending a strong message to each and every participant right now that they're the stronger, strongest team in South Asia. They are trying to at least climb up, making sure that they are trying to at least get the chicken dinner again with a similar pattern. 18 points in total by getting eight eliminations again, and of course, getting the 10 points for chicken dinner, another 18 points in the bag for T2K. And I believe. This is a strong message that they're trying to convey to each and every challengers here in South Asia and 
for those who is watching in the Southeast Asia. They are making sure that the Southeast Asian guys, they need to take notes. They are prepared for battle. Just look at the, the, the score. So Young in the Roots, three points for them in Igneous and Cal TC. They, they got one point. So eight points for them. Total of almost 1,600 damage. And the, the highest damage dealer here is, this is Suyong here with 588. Knockdown wise, Suyong and Roots converting that into an elimination. So T2K in their strongest form yet. This is just day number one, Torix. Oh, this is just the day number one. Oh my god. Let's see. Let's see what the last two matches are gonna like bring for the players. But it is going to be GG's Ozefa as the MVP of this match. Six elimination, two assist, 859 wow. damage by the player, 153 healing, and the longest elimination distance is of the 53 meters. Uh, not a lot of longest elimination, but still, yeah, he definitely has done something good for the team. T2K Esports, uh, they're on the second spot for the match standing, Ooh. 18 points, 19 for the GG. T2K even though you have that winner winner chicken error, you still are not able to get that top position in this match in fact they're very very hot cuts and glory they stood out the entire map getting 13 kills and what if cuts and glory remain strong eliminated you know three or four members of t2k enabling that chicken dinner how many points did they produce but drs gaming five points major pride a1 tmt Four points for them. KS Axe and ASA Galaxy 8. Three points. So, Sadok map is just so hot right now. But, you know, good things needs to come to an end. So, if you want to see Sadok, might as well tune in tomorrow. Because the next map here is going to be Miramar. Regicide, 52 esports, raw esports. One point for them. Stalwart only got one. And Team Falcons with a surprise attack. They didn't score any points at all. So, Miramar, we're going to be on a longer phase right now. But, Road to Glory, the players here with outstanding kills. Roots already has 12. Husaifa, whoa. Got 9 points together with XMPL. Maxum as well with 9. Killer with 8. But, you know, Roots here, 22 trolls being unleashed and of course 18,000 I mean, eight, I mean 1.8k damage for this guy you know roots is on a rootless aggression let's see how t2k and roots go hand in hand in order for them to to cement their way through the qualifier being on top by uh, still 55 points drs has some catching up to do with 42 raw esports 10 points behind drs 32 points. Falcons, wow. 29 points. That's in Lori with 26 and a stronger esports. Six plays at 23 points. Wow, what a scoreboard we have. That is a good, good scoreboard. But uh, going to the team Regicide on the hashtag number 7, we are seeing 23 points for them as well. For Miracle Vibes, then going down to 20 points. Officially going out of the 20 markers. Uh, we are seeing the team A1 TMT at number 9. Hora Esports, same with the 18 points. 16 for KS Axe. But uh, from this point onward, we are going to see number 12 to 16. Maybe some 5, maybe some 8 points. And there we go. The lowest is 8. The highest on the third like chart is going to be Stalwarts with 15 points. 52 with 15 as well. I see 13 and Major Pride with 10. Not a lot of difference for the third chart. Just a single match, a good single match, like uh, uh, can bring them up maybe on the second chart, uh, at the end of second chart maybe. So definitely try, definitely like make sure that uh, as much eliminations as you can, try to gather that. After that, try to like secure as much position as you can for yourself because uh, from this point onward, it is two Miramars, as you already mentioned, Vince. Uh, and two Miramars, they are definitely going to be a hassle for so many teams. 
Well, as we wait for the Miramar map to commence, we're going to be heading towards a short break. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, in the Gamer, Ram uh, Gamer Rumble. So don't go away, guys. We'll be right back. Game day ka itna load. To karna router download. Seven crore gamers and streamers are on router. Where are you? Game day ka itna load. To karna router download. Seven crore gamers and streamers are on router. Where are you? Game देखने का इतना load तो करना router download. Seven crore gamers and streamers are on router. Where are you? gentlemen welcome back here for the uh, PUBG Mobile Gamers Grand Rumble this is still the South Asia qualifier day number one but we're done with the three Elangelos map and of course the the only sign up map that we've witnessed that sign up map was way too intense yeah. there are a lot of uh, engagement happening right now still in a caster's desk Vince G here together with my partner Torix so your thoughts on the two Miramar maps that we're going to be seeing right now. 
Oh, uh, the two Miramar maps. We have to see how the teams are actually going to perform in that because this is going to be their first experience in the most passive maps out of them all. So not only like their momentum, we might see some distance from like what it was before, but it depends upon their drop locations. They have given out their drop locations, guys. Remember this on the Instagram where they're going to drop. And if it is a clash, it's going to not matter whether it's the Miramar, whether it's the Wrangle, or if it's the Sandhawk. They are definitely going to go there. They're definitely going to take the fight and then proceed to the next one as well. But yes, Miramar is one place, one map that you cannot survive no matter what without a car. If you have a car, you are good to go. If you don't have one, then the things are definitely going to like do a lot of hardship for you. It's going to be a lot of hardships. And we're going to be seeing how things are going to go between the teams. You know, this this quite get me interested. This quite get me invested into how are they going to play Miramar. Because Aerogel... It's a different story. Sandhawk feels so different because we've seen teams in the bottom trying to produce more and more points. But they did. But still, it's T2K story. They managed to came on top. They still protected their lead. Getting three chicken dinners tonight. But Miramar is going to be another story. So, might as well check out what, what is going to happen in Miramar. Because Miramar, as we know it, is very very huge you're gonna be forced to invest in vehicles because you need to rotate all throughout the wide map and of course a lot of open areas are there so vehicles are your friend because you know in that open area scenario there's no room for you to cover because of how thin the trees are because of how well you're exposed in the mountains in the uh in the desert side but if you have vehicles you can like make them explode and then you can use it as, use that as a cover so might as well see the story behind the Miramar map but uh we can see if uh t2k is going to conquer and dominate this map i'm quite excited i'm quite invested oh yes uh, if t2k is uh, going to do anything in this map we have to see that but at the same time DRS, what has happened to them? The first two matches, they were great for them. But uh, T2K from the second match onward uh, started to come uh, really, really out on the top and got some good, decent eliminations. But here we go, guys. Uh, the match number five has begun. Uh, the plane line is on our screen and it is going uh, from the eastern corner near the Impala all the way down to the lots. He goes. Uh, so not only like this plane line is going to like help uh, a lot of teams at the major drop locations like los leons the puerto paraiso even the chumacera but there it's leaving a lot of like area away from it san martin hacienda del patron el pozo el is hot even like uh, it's barely accessible for the teams and if any one drop location is there i'm really like more concerned for those players that they have set their drop location to the La Cobreria. Well, it's going to matter if the circle managed to shift towards the upper left side of the map. They need to, to get through it. They need to, to go inside, especially for, for those teams. Force a drop way, way below. Of course, you need to, to go by Minas or probably Valle del Mar in order for for your team to, to get those loose. But safe to say, no more pushing upwards. Some of these teams, some of the teams here can, can optionally choose La Cobriera uh, as, a, as a drive spot, if ever, that they need to rotate towards the circle. They choose to, to stay upwards, but some of the other teams here is safe. They drop... Uh, in the middle of the circle, but we can see Star Wars Esports now on a gunfight with... Ooh, this is Raw, actually. Raw is war once again. Oh my god, it is once again the fight that's gonna happen, <laughs> and I'm really excited for that. Star Wars Esports, grenade in the hand. 
but will it connect? Uh, will it connect to anyone here or not? But uh, talking about the team Raw Esports, uh, they are also kind of like playing on the passive side. They're not overly pushing on the team Stalwarts Esports. And because they know that they don't have that much of a good arsenal in, at their disposal. And at the same time, they don't even have the Wests. Uh, look at Maxim. He doesn't even have a vest on himself. Uh, the rest of the players jiggle. He has the vest, not the helmet. A single headshot is going to be enough to departure him out of this match. But uh, together with the team as one, they definitely stand a chance. Prab in here taking the charge with the UMP on hand. What is going to be the fate of Stalwart Esports here? Stalwart Esports here team that has nothing to lose if they play aggressively they can like push raw downwards while focusing on their points to climb upwards so they can still make it at the top 10 if ever that they perform or annihilate the entire raw in this kind of scenario because how many how many point difference hurrah here is already has 18 points and a1 tmt if they manage to at least get four points that means it's 19 for for the side of uh, Raw, I mean for the side of uh, Stalwart Esports, if ever. But uh, we can see how disciplined the players are. They're, they're taking their time. They're, they're making sure that each and every one of them has their goods up. Because uh, you don't want to be less prepared. But Jiggle, with an Uzi on hand, managed to spot player 3. Converts it into a kill point. That's your first blood. Thanks to Jiggle. Jiggle so fast, and we can see player number one here, Civic Bullet, Prabin waiting downstairs. Doki gets player one, and uh, the rest of the players for the side of Sour Esports is just on the second floor. Player two commits towards Jiggle, but he's, is he going to get the kill? But okay, Sour Esports surprisingly turning things around, eliminating. The entire Raw, who only got one point. What? This means Stalwart Esports, they made it to the top 10. Who's, they're currently ninth. Oh, definitely. They can't be on the ninth right at this point. Uh, they are straight up has jumped not one, not two, but a lot of positions. From 13, 12 onward, they just jumped straight up to the number nine. But Raw Esports... Uh, Things are looking grim for them because uh, Team FLC, they're still alive. And if they get some good points, decent points in this match, they will be taking them down from the top positions as well, the, from the top three as well. DRS in the meanwhile, now the difference between the T2K and the DRS is off to 13 points. So not only that the team DRS needs a winner of a chicken dinner, but also needs some decent five, maybe seven or eight elimination points uh, if they want to secure like uh, that top position once again for themselves. But for that to happen, T2K has to get eliminated first and foremost. Uh, Killer YT, he's waiting for the opportunity as well. DRS uh, in this match, uh, we definitely have to see like what's their mindset is right now and why are they struggling so suddenly yeah we need to see what what the problem lies we need to see what is going to be their struggles but uh in order for them uh if, in order for us to see that we need to at least figure out uh probably some of the other teams here are playing differently you know uh some of them might might play bad in the earlier maps but uh we're talking about Miramar here, so this might affect the gameplay. Aerogel might not be their map, but some of uh, these players, these teams, is heavily dependent on Miramar because uh, they know that they can dominate this map and at the same time they can accumulate more points. Miramar is as easy as it gets. They are trying to wait for the longer battles. They try to win the longer battles, so that is going to be the mindset of the other players. We can see Regicide on the other hand. Uh, trying to to rotate in the area trying to at least utilize all their vehicles each and every one of them is riding each and every one of them has their own vehicle because in the long run they can like rely on those vehicles for them to at least cover them up because just look at how how exposed the area is it's all about the low grounds the ridges the high grounds limited buildings 
uh, trees that are very, very thin, and of course, some rocks in this kind of desert. It's really, really hard for uh, for them to hide. And uh, as for A1 TNT, they're going to be stopping by the church, probably in the graveyard area, to at least get a couple of uh, items for for them to be prepared. You know, level 2 helmet is not going to be enough for Sinister. He needs more. And uh, as for Deathstorm, he just needs to equip, upgrade and equip more. A1 TMT currently in 10th place. This is the perfect opportunity for them to bounce back. If they did well, if they do well in this map, it's going to be easy overtaking. But, oh, Naki here. One more hit. He got knocked down by Spike. And now Spike converted him into a kill. That's a kill confirmed for him. One point for the Regicide. I mean, one, one life lost for the Regicide. Yeah, one casualty on them, but we're still down to the top 15 players. It's still 15 teams alive in this match, 58 players into the lobby. So far, we have seen Team Stalwarts Esports, uh, R3G losing one of their players, uh, and Raw Esports losing their complete squad. But aside from that, every other player, DRS, T2K, if it's GG, Falcons, and all the players, uh, they have the complete, complete squad. And not a single scratch on them. And uh, now, as they're going to be going forward, slowly and steadily, we have to see... In how much time and how much uh, more time they're gonna go up against each other but team KS acts look at them they are kind of close into the vicinity of the team but uh, AS AG are you gonna be able to get some knockouts done on the team KS or is team KS uh, will be those crucial guys that gets the final bullet on the players of the team AS AG KS acts I like the patience, I like the determination, I like the focus. He's just waiting for heads to pop in that window. But he's just unleashing bullets to no one, you know. He needs those bullets up because if he managed to lose bullets, that means it's going to be hard for him to, to loot each and every bullet. So it's a lost cause already, forces him to go back. One player from IHG being knocked down and we can see the commitment of the KS Axe right now. They just realize that okay, we're just wasting time. It's, it's, it's much better to at least leap position, pick another target. But they went hard towards their uh, the position of their next target. Though I believe this is going to be AS Agon XI8. They pass through careless. He managed to get XOXOX, but A1 TMT here will be getting action. He was knocked down. We can see XMPL with the, Uzi, uh, with the UMP on hand managed to knock one as well, like UQ. Knocks down Cairo, Godless as well. Confirms XMPL. Arrow gets sinister. A lot of kills happening here, Torex. So, Miramar here might be too hot for the players to handle. Oh, yes, it is definitely too hot to handle for many of the players. But DRS, oh my god, why are you guys slamming your own cars? That on each other but two down back to back no this is not good marcelo he has to move away he has to just straight up run from this point onward he cannot stop as soon as he's gonna stop it's gonna be over for the guy as well but gg in the meanwhile they're also receiving the damage asag versus team rage finally the fight has started cuts and glory in the meanwhile they got the complete elimination on themselves three elimination they managed to secure at the end str 52 ks and oh my god, we are seeing a lot of casualties. Uh, A1 TMT has lost two of their players. K has lost three of their players. Team STR has lost two. Stalwart lost one. R3G, we already have seen them lost to one of their players. But DRS, I am so sad for these guys. A while ago, a moment ago, there were still three men standing. And now, just a solo player. But ASAG finally making a comeback from the bottom position. They managed to at least... Uh, get the second bottom the second last position so far and uh this this might just be it the miramar just might be for them at this point owens i see now gets get storm but look and see zayo uh, actually knocking down one arrow tries to knock down one as well rowdy here cooking some nades up towards the position of nirze but he got received he received tons of damage thanks to the frag grenade by nirze stronger 
they got out. They have been out of this game. They only got one elimination, but Carol TZ gets player number four for the side of Stalwart Esports, who's currently now at number eight. But Stalwart Esports, this is the, the dominating game yet that they play because overall, they, they are the only team who managed to get the higher frag or the higher kills. Eight eliminations. Wow, Stalwart Esports, all I can say, they're just way too hot right now. They're climbing up. Oh. Pierce in here being knocked down, and Rowdy converts that. Rowdy with that focus A1 TMT as the zone focus as the zone shifts. This is the perfect opportunity to revive that storm. Rowdy and that storm they need to work hand in hand. Stalwart being eliminated. So DRS they only need to survive one standing player. And for Falcons, I see is there top. He cannot rescue top. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my goodness, the way that that fight actually like took a turn, it was amazing. But uh, 11 still teams, 34 players, Sky Hora, 52 Allian, right together with each other, not, uh, I don't think that's a decent spot, or uh, Sky, you, you have to change your position, because uh, as soon as you're going to be spotted here, it's going to be an instant elimination. Team Falcons, they're also struggling a lot, because another player, the last solo player, is also getting the damage on himself. He has to do something. Sky, in the meanwhile, they're still looking out for the Team 52 Esports, but let me tell you, the fight is not going to start. The fight is definitely just going to like disengage from this point onward but i'm seeing all the top teams uh, vince all the top teams like from the two three towards all till the 10 11 they're getting a really an early elimination onto themselves like uh, we have seen all the players from two onwards to 11 getting eliminated the number 12 to physics scene they're kind of going passive in today's matches in this last two matches and they know they know that they have to be passive to like actually have a chance even in the next day to get into the top 10 this is the fight for the top 10 you cannot move ahead if you're not in the top 10 but the fight has finally begun and once again we are seeing the team ASAG kind of scattered because Fallek is in the circle in the Picado, but the rest of the team for Miracle Vibes, we are seeing them kind of close to the rest of the team ASAG's players. 52, R3G, they're still together, but no, no fight is happening. No fight is happening at all, but we're down to 32 players. 10 teams is here on the Miramar map, but you know, I might call this, you know, not playing passive, but, you know, they're just saving up energy because you don't want to, yourselves to get tired because this is just the only, this is just day number one. This is just a qualifier matchup. And uh, for T2K and DRS, the only important thing is that they invested a lot of points for them to qualify. And so all I can say is that DRS... It's, it's quite fine for them to not accumulate any points at all in this map. But uh, the battle here, we need to focus on the teams that is on the half of the leaderboard. Probably the top eight teams right now. You know, Stalwart Esports still has a chance to, to get knocked down. Regicide as well for Miracle Vice. We see Aero here of uh, for Miracle Vibe knocking down one player from Major Pride, but you know, the trays are there. Attacker, Mentrix, being taken care of by Doc of the side of Poor Maker Pride, but Proxy, is he gonna commit? Ghost is Ooh, there no. as the third party, not looking good for Poor Maker Vibes though, because they attracted so much attention. All eyes are on them. The attention is now on the side of Poor Maker Vibes. Yes, they eliminated Major Pride, but at what cost? They attracted so much attention that they might be eliminated anytime soon because of how how teams uh, spotted them. They, they they got a lot of attention for them. They have to to shake it off. They do have to shake it off, and uh, as 
just as a solo player, I do not connect to that. I'm definitely telling you that, but at the same time, it's their choices. They need to like uh, take that revenge factor into the consideration as well. But T2K, genius so far. He has this team has one elimination. All the four players are once again alive, and this team they are ready. Let me tell you, and they are ready once again for the winner of a chicken dinner. I can tell you by their tone, by their movement, uh, that they are once again expecting a winner of a chicken dinner for them. If it does happen, that means that they're going to get four back-to-back -back winner of winner chicken dinner. Whoa. That's a huge, huge number. No matter how you look at it, in this kind of lobby where all the teams are pro, where all the teams know each other's like uh, positioning, like their drop locations, uh, and even their strategies, uh, getting back to back four winner winner chicken dinners is a huge thing. They even three is a huge thing, and they have managed to do that. If it changes to four, then that means the stakes are going to be even higher for them. And you know, B2K here, just if they manage to do that, that means. They're just sending a message to each and every participant yep. in this tournament that we're gonna be the best. We're gonna be, we're gonna be the team that you need to watch out for. T2K now uh, dominating the South Asia qualifiers, but let's see on the upcoming days what can they provide on the table. T2K now investing in a lot of points, accumulating those points. Day number two still is going to come up tomorrow, so. Things might change from there if ever that T2K got rested and uh, other teams might show off and pop off with style. So they just have to be careful. But the, the top uh, two to five teams has been taken care of for Miracle Vibes with three members. This is the uh, the time for them to to climb up because the only uh, the Rifus did early the, the thing that Rifus did earlier. It, it's a good boost for them to climb up the rack, but not enough. Six points, six elimination points in total, still not enough. They need to climb up, they need to overthrow GG, but Roshan here gets Death Storm. And now we can see Hurrah and Messi, actually, from Hurrah, managed to suffer the wrath of 52 esports. And uh, we can see no fear here. He needs to set aside his fear, he needs to conquer. The fears that he has right now, because 52 esports is up to his head. He want, uh, they want to take him down. Kaltizi gets crypto, knocks him down, and now for then for Falak and IQQ, they need to work and uh, figure out a, fl a plan to to revive crypto. Gokbot here for 52 esports, good kill. Hurrah! Got eliminated. IQQ gets Kaltizi. Now, T24, 52, T24, right now, popping. Rifus here, looking from side to side. Aero, ready to cook in those mollies that he has. IQQ needs to be prepared, but Falak here gets Apex. Aero cannot react anymore because on behind them, it's Rowdy. What a surprise attack for Mercury Vibe suffered that loss. But they still have one more member in Rowdy. He only gets four points. He's the solo guy, and he gets four points alone, keeping for Miracle Vibes' spirit alive. I know it is a great, great start of, by the guy. He's making sure that at least uh, his team, he at least makes his team proud till the very end, survive somehow, get those uh, juicy position points for themselves. Uh, for Miracle Vibes, uh, it's all up to you. It's all up to the last guy, Rifus. But the grenades are coming in uh, slowly and steadily. The players are also approaching A1 TMT. Roy! Roy! He's in the close. Rifus gets the damage. He is forced to get into the backside. But at the same time, will he be able to get that elimination done on the player or not? Because uh, Rifus versus Roy. Let's see. Let's see who's going to take the opportunity, who's going to present the opportunity to the other player. The circle is uh, not in the favor, but on the backside, we are seeing the team T2K. Oh, no, as a third party, they took down the guy. Team R3G is also losing their players at the same angle. So not only there is just one fight happening, but all the top six teams 
they're somewhat struggling for the fight as well because the R3G, look at them. They're gonna lose another player if this thing keeps resisting up. The player is super low in that HP. Shahmir Grenades hits the player. It does a lot of damage. He gets on his knees. And now from this point onward, let's see. Let's see what 52 Esports is actually going to do. Wow, Shamir here managed to get that grenade elimination. Goku Bok, is he ready to jump down? He's just trying to at least wait for the perfect opportunity for, for him to launch that attack. He needs to face Regicide. That's the only member. He cannot risk that opportunity. He might as well be knocked down just like Ania. And of course, Shamir here trying to crawl over, uh, over his life at T24. He's just trying to scout for potential opportunity. For American Vibes, okay? They didn't make it to the top five, but with that six eliminations, that's really, really nice for them. So they managed to climb up the leaderboards and the Regicide. 52. IHC, of course, uh, AS Agonex I8 is there, but T2K is the threat to each and every one. And T2K is just on a hunt to get more and more kills. IHC now tries to pop off. Four elimination for T2K. So, what is going to be the game plan? Complete members for the side of T2K, but the rest of them now, they lack in manpower. Let's look at 324. Managed to punish down Zion here. There's no room for them to react. There's no room for them to to force a revive. As T24 is now playing so aggressive. T24, he just needs to look down. He just needs to look for Roshan. Is he gonna go in? Towards his den. Roshan here. He's just waiting patiently. I don't know if he has the cheese. But you know. This guy can definitely pack a punch. But we can see Goku Pot on the other hand. He needs to go super side at this rate. Oh. Miramar is just so hot. Oh, it no. is just so hot. Oh my god. What Roshan? is going on? And there we go. Oh. Roshan is out of this match. Top three players. I want to see where they are situated at. I want to see their positions and the positions that they can actually like see to the different teams. What kind of a view they have for themselves. Rogue has his car. He has the circle as well. But in five seconds, the circle is closing in. So it won't matter. It's not going to matter. As soon as the circle is going to shift on towards the top of the players, it's, they're going to be into the safer side. And which they does. T2K in the front side. They're in the middle. IHC is in the corner. Alongside of the team 52 esports so t2k is the only team that i'd say has the best opportunity to do a third party angles on towards the players but at this point from this point onward if 52 and ihc started the fight t2k will just be getting those free like uh, jumpies on them yeah they just need to to be prepared on uh who is going to jump after them but you know Better to play it safe. They don't want to get checkmate in this kind of fight. IHC right now, Zion, and of course Rogue, utilizing the high ground advantage that they have. And uh, 52 Esports was forced to to play it low ground. They just need to to at least play a peekaboo. They just they, uh they just need to pretend that they're moles right now. They just need to to pop some heads if they uh if they want to. But you know, smoke. Just make things complicated, a little bit more complicated on their side as well, because they're going to be covering up a lot of vision. But how many spokes left? I think that's it for for OP for T twenty four. Like, there's no one. Uh, there's nothing. Uh, there's no smokes left. He's just using the smoke to at least get close. But Rogue here managed to get uh, to get Igneous, and now Zio with the revenge. He managed to get OP. Now we can see him roll here, check the corners. Kalkisi is there. Zyle here, crouching patiently. 52 and T2K. Both of them has one knockdown member. So Rogue right now, he's just waiting patiently. Zyle here, they're just utilizing the uh, high ground and, uh, control that they have. Suyong gets OP. T24 OP right now. T2K. Suyong waiting for IG to commit, but are they Kyle TC? How long are they going to do this patient game? Because 
they're out in the open. So the only thing that separates them is the low ground, high ground, and of course the terrain that uh, covers them. Uh, you know that that uh, enables them to hide towards plain sight. Yeah, those uh, corners, those ridges are what they need right now. But the circle is closing in. T2K, they have the perfect opportunity. Just wait out the scenario. Just wait out for the opportunity that's going to present to you. And then take the advantage. You need that fourth winner of a chicken dinner. Even if you didn't manage to get like uh, uh, those uh, elimination that much, those winner of a chicken dinners on top of that, like the 10 points in total, that's still a huge, huge thing that you need to, to have for yourself. Uh, it is a great number that you can like secure for yourself and the distance of the points that were like 14, 11 or 12, it's going to go even higher because of that. If you get the winner of a chicken dinner, that's instantly 10 points difference uh, going to the player side. But T2K, aside from them, IHC and 52, why are they not taking any kind of fight? They're so close to each other. They can, like, just make one wrong move. They get spotted. And at that instant time, it's going to be over for the players. So, do something, man. Do something, I would say. Do something, 52 Esports. You don't want, like, yourself uh, to be getting a third party from, the like, the side of the T2K side. So, I would say... It's up to you, Rogue, alongside of Zeol as a duo. You have to push forward. You have to, like, take the initiative against the other teams. You have that higher ground. You have the higher positioning. But Rogue, oh my god. That higher positioning is actually gonna, like, not help him. But at the same time, do, like, not good things for him. As he spotted, his location is revealed. Now T2K will definitely rush. It's okay. They need to rush because they have the manpower. Three versus two versus one situation. Now Goku even was forced to to replenish health by drinking the soda up. Suyong now ready to cook in those states. He already uh only has two left. And now Suyong he received damage. Now he's trying to hide towards the rocks. He needs to heal up. Lots of nades. Rogue keeping Suyong down. So that means T2K. Two standing members, no? So if Suyong here was converted into a kill point, that means it's gonna be hard for T2K to get that chicken dinner. That fourth chicken dinner, or probably the third chicken dinner of this night that they're waiting for, you know? They're just waiting for them to pop off. The fourth chicken dinner is up for grabs, but 52 and IHT, they're just making this complicated. Kyle TZ now being knocked down, T2K. They might be denied of that four chicken dinner. But look at that Zyle here. He was he was Igneous. Igneous right now tries to run for safety. So IHC Esports has the map power advantage. Zyl here on the high ground. And he got taken out. 52 oh, Esports. Oh they need to come God. out. Nice. Man, it's amazing. So oh, he's gonna throw in those pan, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm surprised. I'm waiting for a surprise on how I actually reduce the numbers of uh, of them. But you know, they do go for bot. He got taken out. I actually get the chicken dinner. Yep, I actually with that winner of a chicken dinner. But I am so amazed. That how they stopped the T2K, 52, and IHC together. It was uh, amazing. 52 Esports, uh, IHC together as a stronger force, uh, as a bigger force, took down uh, the three Venevena Chicken Dinner takers back to back of today's uh, matches. The T2K Esports, but now nine eliminations uh, for the team IHC as well. Not too shabby at all for these guys. Now, from this point onward, I want to see how much the individual elimination has affected the players. Zero elimination for Demo, one for Godless, three for Rog, and five for Zeol. So we can instantly see who might be the MVP of this match. And it might be Zeol unless T2K has something else to say for like to these guys. But 626, 76 damage is still something. Ooh. But 52 Esports, Cuckoo Bot? He's like, nope, it's mine. Five eliminations, uh, 896 
damage with 138 meters of the longest distance elimination. One assist for his teammates. But healing. He didn't get much healing done on himself. And this is surprising. In the Miramar match, not getting that much healing is so rare to see, I'd say. Yeah, so rare to see. But, you know, surprisingly, Goku Bot managed to steal the spotlight. You know, I was also expecting Zayo to become the MVP. But still, I see esports work their way up, work their way too. They they stole the spotlight, they get the chicken dinner, and that's what's more important. 19 points for their team. And 52 esports, they got 16. Did you know? They got one point ahead, one kill point ahead of uh, IHE Esports. But T2K here, they only, uh, they only got 12. AS Agon XI 8, they only got 9 for Miracle and Star Wars. 8 points each for them. But all I can say is that Agon XI 8 there, this map is a, ve uh, is a really, really good opportunity for them to climb up the ranks. Regicide. A1 TMT, 5 points. Getting Glory, 3 points. Major Pride and KS Axe, 2 points for them. As you know, they work their way through the uh, the scoreboard once again. So, the highest uh, jumper that we have here right now is probably, I think, the AS Agon X High 8. With their good performance yeah. right now. Hurrah, Falcon, Stronger Esports Raw, 1 point each. DRS, they 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 didn't get anything at all, so they get none. So, you know, IHE Esports somehow, congratulations to them because they they stole a chicken dinner away for for T two K. I agree. They stole that winner and a chicken dinner away from the team T two K. I was pretty sure that the team T two K were the one that will get the winner of the chicken dinner because. Uh, the way that they were surviving till the very end things were looking so good for them but in a single blink of an eye the odds were up against them and uh, they couldn't handle against the odds at that time got eliminated and uh, just lost that one over the chicken dinner but talking about the road to glory of today's uh, matches so far it is uh, t2k rules og first of all with 15 elimination then Josefa with 11 elimination nine for xmpl then we are seeing Killer YT with 8, 6, 4, Suyog. And these are the top 5 most eliminated, most valued players so far in today's matches. But there's still one more match remaining. There's still one more Miramar to go. And uh, still players uh, to make something worth out of it. But DRS still on the number 2. But with a huge difference because T2K has the 67 points meaning that's 25 points difference that we are talking about for the team drs to like uh, get for themselves if if they want to like uh, pass over the team t2k esports with raw esports 33 points team i had with 32 31 for team falcons in fact 52 esports 34 falcons and not a lot of distance there because after the number two, we are seeing 30 lines, 33 to 31 to 30. Then on the seventh spot, we are seeing 29, then 28. So everything is going super smoothly, like uh, on a straight line. Whereas the top twos uh, are the only two teams that have like an absurd amount of points, I'd say. Yeah, it's all about getting those points, but uh, it's all about how will you close day number one because. As we get closer towards the uh, finale of day number one, as we head over to the final Miramar map, so you need to establish yourself on the safe space. And that means you need to get in the top 10. For Stalwart Esports, 23 points. For Ra, 19. KS Axe, 18. AS Agon XI, 8, 17. And of course, Major Pride only got 12 points. So they have to work their way through. So how are you going to surprise your opponents? How are you going to make an entry towards the top 10? That's the question. Because if I'm Major Pride, actually, it's going to be easy for me to, to get towards the top 10. I just need a really, really good couple of kills and a chicken dinner. So I'm going to be relying on that. I just need to make an impact before I go to sleep, before I end this night. Oh, yes. So we need some aggressive once again plays before the end of the night 
before the end of the day number one of the south asian lobby because after south asian lobby guys uh, from like tomorrow after the day tomorrow it is southeast asian but for right now before heading to the last match of today we will be going on a short break stay here stay connected with us we will be right back गेम देखने का इतना लोड तो करना रूटर डाउनलोड सेवन करोड़ गेमर्स एंड स्ट्रीमर्स आर ऑन रूटर वेर आर यू गेम देखने का इतना लोड तो करना रूटर डाउनलोड सेवन करोड़ गेमर्स एंड स्ट्रीमर्स आर ऑन रूटर वेर आर यू गेम देखने का इतना लोड तो करना रूटर डाउनलोड सेवन करोड़ गेमर्स एंड स्ट्रीमर्स आर ऑन रूटर वेर आर यू Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here on the PUBG Mobile Gamers Grand Rumble for South Asia qualifiers. This is still day number one, but we're down to what final map. We're down to the final Miramar map, and still, this has been Vince G together with my buddy here, Torix. We've been with you all throughout the entire night, and we've seen how the, the scoreboard or the leaderboard yeah. changes, you know. There's been someone on top, and then another set of leaders are just there, like T2K. They have been establishing their lead, but you know what's in it for us? What can we expect on the final Miramar map? Oh, what can we expect on the final Miramar map? Maybe some destruction, maybe some casualties, maybe some fights. And yes, those are the things I know. Those are obvious that that's definitely going to happen. But what we can find is maybe some other teams that's on the bottom line trying to like proceed their way into the top 10 making some jumps making some big jumps and yes this is this is the kind of aggression that we need to see this is the kind of aggression that we want to know how the teams are actually going to perform but 
it is the final match. Every team knows it's the end of the day. So either it is going to be a do and die scenario or it is either going to be a super, super serious lobby. Let me tell you that because uh, the stakes are off $10,000. It's not just one or two thousand dollars. It is straight up ten thousand dollars out of which uh, the winning team, the champions, will be getting five thousand for themselves. Wow, that is a lot. And if you want to to get that share of the prize pool, of course, each of these teams they need to perform at their very best. And you know, just like that, he mentioned that ten thousand US dollars, and the half of that, the fifty percent, is going to to be awarded towards the champion. You know, that that's a lot. Half of the prize pool is going to be yours. But, of course, if you're the shiny star of your team, if you're the MVP of the entire finals, you'll be getting a separate pay yes. of 500 US dollars for, for performing at the very best. You know, it's, it's, it's how you pop up. It's how you shine individually and as a team. So I'm uh, quite looking forward to, to players shining through all throughout this tournament because... After this uh, South Asia qualifiers, we're going to be heading towards the Southeast Asia. So we're going to be seeing uh, uh, top teams right there. But, you know, top teams right here, they're just trying to, to show their dominance, especially T2K and DRS. Are they going to bounce back? Because they started strong, and I wanted for them to end strong. But if, if T2K allows it, let's see, or the other player, other teams allows it, Let's see uh, what is going to happen in the final Miramar map. Oh, yes. What is going to happen in the final Miramar map? Uh, the match in number six uh, that we all are waiting for. It is about to come on our screen as the plane takes its flight. Uh, let's go, guys. A Minas del Sur is where the plane line has started. And oh, my God, this kind of a corner. No, oh. no way. This is straight up Los Igos all the way up to the Los Leons Puerto Paraiso. I'm, I'm seeing the same Miramar vibes that it was on the last match. I think it was from near the LSR, same area that it was ending from towards the Los Igos. Whereas this time around, it is starting from the Los Igos. So, oh my god, it's the same thing once again going on. Same thing once... You know what? Same thing once again, but I'm kind of curious on... Uh... What happened to the other players of the KS Axe? I believe Mad Cat is, is, is the only present player. And he dropped solo here in the, the Los Higas side. So in order for him to, to produce a lot more kills or a lot of uh, more points, he needs to be careful. Because if he managed to climb his way up, there are a lot of teams that is going to be after him. The circle. Where is it going to be? So we've seen the circle somehow... Uh, ship towards the upper side probably, but uh, I'm gonna. Exp I just wanted to to see the circle somehow way below, uh, probably in the small island. But uh, it's not gonna happen. It it it, it didn't. It's not gonna happen anytime soon. But they said, okay, oh my god, let's, uh, let's force this one into the left side. Oh, definitely, definitely. It is going on the left side area. We are seeing the circle, on the other hand. In fact, uh, just look at how hard of a shift it has taken. The teams already is not in the circle right now. But uh, we will be seeing some early clash drops because the teams have decided their clash drops, their drop locations uh, before the start of the matches. Uh, and they will be abiding by that. So means early stage fight is definitely coming its way. And we are already seeing that into the kill feed. That someone and somewhere they have taken the fight. The MP. Oh my god. They're getting knifed at this point. Oh what? no. That's what? a knife elimination coming on <laughs> team MP. How are you going to retaliate brother? You know when that stab at the back for major pride that kind of hurt you know evil station got stabbed in miramar you don't want that to happen but here comes uh Lentrix here managed to punish that rogue he knocks him down converts him confirms him and of course with a uzi you know that's a good vengeance that's a, that's a good revenge for major pride you stab evil station we're gonna put some holes in this body so 
you just have to be prepared. It's a three versus three once again. Player one gets jiggle from Raw. Maxim again uh, knocks down player two. So, oh, st- still refreshing to see someone stabs in the back. But, you know, uh, it's really, really hard. It- whoa! Whoa! When you see someone get stabbed, someone with a frying pan... It's gonna hurt your head. He's gonna try to bump you out. You know, that is such, such crucial. Such, that is such a, you know, how can I describe it? You know, they're, they're going melee. Raw is now out. Oh my god. Every <laughs> time it was Raw winning, but this time, Stalwart is like, we're gonna not let you win. We're gonna pan you, in fact, and. They got them raw as well, getting those elimination. It is a great, 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 I'd say, a start from the Team Solver's Esports side as well. But going to the Team Major Pride, once again, they're up against Team IFC. Toxie got a lot of damage on himself, but if it's straight up Uzi, not caring about his position, he gets the knockout down on the players. But oh my god, Godless is not coming slow. Taking one, taking two down of the Team Major Pride player at this point. Dill has the other angle as well, whereas he's trying slowly and steadily to take on the attacker at this point. But the attacker taking fight against the team uh, like uh, IHC's Godless. He takes him down, but couldn't get the confirmation. And it's over. It's over for the team major pride. IHC getting those four eliminations for themselves. And two teams within the first stage getting that elimination. You know, that, that fight between the mid I think the first kill for his team. And uh, still, Sile here is going to end Major Pride with the final blow of his AK on hand. So that is an interesting take for Versailles to to convert these two kills in the total for his team and uh that's the way you start it and he that's the only way that he can end it you know a really really good series of uh kills between the two and IHC esports is gonna climb four points with a total of 36 points DRS they need to watch out as well you know major pride somehow they fell short might as well bounce back tomorrow they can uh they can like easily rest early tonight but you know they need to to start gathering uh, information about their team and how or in figuring out get to the drawing board figure out how are they going to bounce back uh in this game but surprisingly count easy here being eliminated early t2k are they going to, to fight the three members but we can see i see here even in Miramar, this guy has no chill. So he's not mental, but you know, he wants to, to punish down Rowdy, who's just trying to drive his buggy across the street. You know, I see here, as I said, he this guy has no chill. This guy has no chill. Constantly, constantly trying to stop down the players, get them out of their buggies, get them eliminated. But no, didn't happen. You did not manage to do that. And now you have to leave this area. You have to get out of here. Because the enemy knows your location. You can't just stay here and expect them to not push on you. Falcon, 4MV, if you're seeing of them. Apex, Baron, they're together in the same car. But what happened to that car? It got <laughs> kind of stretched, but... Uh, it, whatever suits the man, whatever suits the man. I, I'm, I'm in no position to judge. But 14 teams, yes, still alive. No. And oh, oh my god. Okay. Uh, that, elastic I think they're, car. Yeah, that's an elastic car. I think at some point, it's going to straight up go back and take a big jump. You know, it's, it's going to be worse if, if that elastic car got pulled back. But, you know, yeah. it's not going to happen, though. <laughs> I mean, somehow they 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 park their vehicle in the safe spot, so this means they can they loot this big Miramar map. So for AS A good XI eight, uh, they have struggles in uh, getting those eliminations early on in the Arangel map, but start Sandhawk, they they produce a lot of points. So 
they is eager excited even though that they only have 17 points they, they can still work their way around but you know this is gonna be hard crypto here with the uap on hand managed to punish down near zen before he throws in some late and here comes ic knocks down one confirms it and now we can see ic here dropping low he needs to to crouch a little bit but oh, he cannot no. escape crypto with the uap on hand make sure that ic is going to get knocked down and here comes crypto here fighting for his life and now we can see dead trying to survive as well with low hp it's all up to crypto and iq kill crypto now ready to cook in because top is there to at least aid their zed and <coughs> now crypto you know with that nade it was a really really good kill it exploded it, it exploded you know the players of the Falcon esports and right now you know that this is going to be intense because crypto even though that they're facing these top guys right now he's not gonna lose cool he's not gonna lose composure with cryptos with uh mind right now he needs to annihilate the entire falcon esports especially top is on the top of the building literally no pun intended. oh yeah yeah no pun intended he's on the top of the building he is waiting out for the opportunity on the top that he can get some uh, top positions. But oh my god, look at Team ASAG. The only Sleep. player that is knocked out, Vince, he's offline. Even if Crypto saves him, there is no hope for the guy whatsoever. I got distracted. I've seen the kill feed. I've seen Sleepy with the fried pan on the Zion, you know. Is that karma? Yeah. But you know, okay, we see crypto here Ooh. being en engaging towards uh, action. But you know, arrow again, getting for had but top here with a nail onto crypto. I think that's A S Agon X I A. But I, I got distracted with the pan once again. You know, I don't know if they're <laughs> they're becoming bullet. They're gonna be uh, saving up resources and using melee weapons to save up bullets, but then. Things are just getting weird here in Miramar. It is getting weird in Miramar mm. so far. And they have to do something, they have to think of something, but oh my god, Team GG, GG's. That is a lot of damage on towards you guys. Top is gonna throw a grenade, it might hit the player, but uh, Kazefa, oh my god, Epic's grenade has uh, handled the Furhut. But Top is the only guy surviving right now. S686 in hand, he takes one down, he's gonna reload the gun, he changes it beforehand and shoots at the guy that's coming on the outside skirts area. Oh my goodness, even as a solo player, he has still not lost hope. Uh, he has to get out, he has to heal himself, he doesn't have any kind of healing. Just jump out, get the knockout, get the confirmation, at least get the confirmation and then move back as the fight. So, even if you die there, you still have the four eliminations on the left side, there's a Molotov on the right side, there oh. might be a grenade coming in. But, uh, Falcon Top, can you do something? Can you get something around, going around in this area? He gets into the backside area, 686 is only gonna connect to one shot, it's not enough for the knockout. The player gets eliminated on the third, three kills, uh, three eliminations so far, but on the hashtag number 13, he goes out without any kind of positioning points. Well, top got cornered. After that engagement, you know, Guts and Glory, they came their way through. They spot one because, of course, every kill counts. Every crucial bodies count. They need those elimination points. And Guts and Glory, they managed to, to get top. And now it's time for them to bail out. It's time for them to prioritize the circles. It's not going to be a hard task for them because each and every one of them, I think they have uh, already has their vehicles. But... It's gonna consume. It's gonna consume a, a little bit of their health, you know. Talking about stage yeah. three, even though that uh, they can still endure, but you don't want to cross the safe area with those uh, with those uh, health running low. So might as well, uh, if ever that someone spots you and uh, and load a lot of bullets in you, you can like easily be knocked down. So you have to be, you have to consider. Uh, the consequences as well, you know, by, by enduring blue, by sacrificing your life just to, to convert one elimination point, what's going to be up next? You just have to overthink your way through. You just have to make sure that every bit of possibility can really happen in an alternate reality. But, you know, there's, there's the UMP kill, 
one uh, knockdown to Stalwart, and then of course Fort Metro Vibes being taken down as well with a UMP on hand. Stalwart Esports is now trying to bounce back on this game, but Stronger is going to be their neighbor. So a third party may happen, so they have to watch out for that too. They definitely have to watch out for that too, but uh, so far, the fight's happening with the Team DRS and A1 TMT. There we go, guys. Another, a different, a new fight finally happening. Where is it going? Where is it heading? This is the question that we need to see. Team GG so far with the two eliminations and nobody's kind of close by to them. So, it's a great start that they can like put themselves into the safe side of the circle then move into a different region take some different fights at different locations but aside from that i'm not seeing uh, any kind of uh i'd say the differences but str str got the confirmation on them they are out of this match from the 12 number we are down to the 11 at this particular vicinity 11 total teams 35 total players and stage 3 is about to close in 10 15 seconds let's go with that goku bot needs to reload his mv3 at the same time the tap tap fires on 52 esports alongside of team r3g let's see if that connection is going to be enough to get some knockouts or not four man miracle vibes on the other hand uh, down to the last man standing and uh, ah no this is not gonna be good not good indeed. Ali in here with the UMP to Roshan confirms that kill for Merkel Vibes now out thanks to the nade of player one, Stalwart Esports. Now, how many kills do they have right now? Ooh, surprisingly, they got seven. They got seven elimination, highest in this game currently. But Hora Esports here, no fear. Still, the rest of the Hora Esports, they're still on the hunt, especially with Regicide. But they're going to be facing right now. Regicide, they already lost one. So they have to play it safe. They have to play it carefully. Knight here gets killer from DRS. So I want uh, DRS here uh, suffered a knockdown. So if they didn't commit towards reviving the knockdown member of the DRS, this can be a problem. DRS here only gets two. Goku bot here gets close a slow fear here sprays down ghost converts him into a literal ghost of the past naki here the only surviving member i believe okay yes he's the only standing member naki if he receives his name regicide is now out but messi tries to at least score that goal score that kill makes the vehicle explode let's see if he ever that uh he ever converts that. No fear. Gets Naki. Regicide is out. Uh, Regicide is out of the match. With this, now a total of nine teams. And I'm seeing T2K, DRS, IHC. The top three contenders uh, still contending for the position. Still trying to get... Uh, as many eliminations as they can so they can have like the opportunity to on the next day on the day number two take that first spot for themselves but this is not like i'd say that hard of a fight for you you just have to stay in the top 10 that's all you need to do if you're in the top 10 you are good to go on the next stage because in this stage you're not going to receive any kind of prize pool you're just going to proceed to the next stage on the league stage from the league stage then you're going to proceed to the grand finals and that's that's where the glory is waiting out for you that's where you have to like stay connected with your teammates no matter what happens and stay on the top Stand up. That is going to be their goal right now. And now we can see Stalwart Esports probably tries to to go hand in hand with IHC. So that pun, you know, the stay on the top pun can apply if ever that top is still playing for Star Wars, but no. Falcon got eliminated early. You know, if you get the joke, that's it. <laughs> T2K on the <laughs> other hand here. Still on the hunt to get those first points. D2K wants to expand their lead. They wanted to end strong. So 67 points is way too far right now, if yeah. you're going to ask me. DRS needs to catch up. So they wanted to at least overtake D2K and send a message that DRS can end this one, start this one strong and end this one strong. Then 
might as well eliminate the entire squads that they can see right now. But you know, looking at the scores, Scal- Stalwart Esports might be quite hungry. And surprisingly, Madcap, the only player for KS Axe to play, and he's still holding on. And he might get one placement point if ever he survive one wave. Or probably wait for a, a squad to be eliminated. And Okay, there you go. He got one placement point. This Ooh. mad cat right here is very, very mad. <laughs> he definitely is kind of mad right there. He needs more eliminations. He needs more kill points for his team, for himself. Uh, but uh, no fear for his 52 esports. Uh, the chances are looking that the team might get into the fight. But we have to see. We still have to see if they're actually going to engage or not. Because uh, with the smoke so far going out, I do believe that they are trying. They are trying wins to go there. Unless, unless suddenly they have the change of the heart. They just change their positioning. and Which they do in fact. What? They change their position, they come back to where they started from. They actually go even further away from the fight. I don't know why and what happened to them, but they need to move back. Go back into the fight. That is uh, what you need to do, guys. Go, go into the fight, uh, and the fight is waiting out for you. Come on, if you need some action, uh, you need some action. You need some elimination points. We are down to the top eight, in fact. You know, that's not the case for Mad Cat. He needs points. <laughs> So for Mad Cat, he just needs to, to keep himself alive. He 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 got nobody. He's he's all alone. He he's just waving the flag of KS Axe right now. So better to be safe. So that means he's just letting the teams fight up against each other. If if his position got compromised, then it's gonna be over for KS Axe or probably this guy. Probably see you guys tomorrow. Messi here trying to score a little bit of goal. And probably throws those nades. He only, only, he only has three, and he's just trying to to bombard the the position of 52. Now Suyo here, without any contestment at all, he managed to get the the airdrop. Messi now get tries to get close, up close in person with 52. Fuck, we got knocked down. Okay, they just gave a red card, oh. but Star Esports out of nowhere, uphill. Kill steal. That's a kill steal right there. Back to the top seven guys. Team T2K and DRS. They are still in the match. Oh my god. Is DRS waiting for the opportunity to take a win of a chicken dinner in this match so they can actually like uh, come close to the T2K side? But 52 esports? What happened to them, Vince? Look at them, all the three players of the Team 52 Esports right now are knocked out. A moment ago they were all alive and now they're all knocked out. But still, getting that revival done on oh, them no. is a good thing. But, oh my goodness, player three, you beast, you beauty. A single grenade, three pills in your back. Ouch to the 52 Esports. Huh, 52 Esports. Now, they're complete, but it's all up to the OP. So he's played out. Star Esports might as well talk about this team. 13 points with that kill confirmation. How many squads have they annihilated all throughout this game? 40 points. But that means it's going to be a total of 39 points in total. Mm -hmm. So that means Star Esports... They're climbing their way through the ranks, pours, pushing down IHC towards the fourth place. And uh, if ever that they get more and get this chicken dinner for them, so that means they can overtake DRS and end up second in this game. And DRS, of course, doesn't want that to happen. T2K is still in play, but they only have three remaining members. But let's not forget, Catching Glory is still complete. A1 TMT is still complete. But <laughs> Madcap from a... Uh, KS Axe is just trying to keep himself together. He's just trying to pull it off all alone. He's just trying to hide uh, in the enemy presence. He don't he don't want to get compromised. He's just waiting for, for the shift to happen. Yeah. He's just waiting for, for the teams to fight. Don't mind me. I'm just going to try to watch. Rowdy being knocked down. XMPL is going to be the culprit. But 
they did not confirm it they did not even convert him into an elimination point and sinister here will be forced to use the smoke killer and the other player from the drs they wanted to plan their way through nades being thrown on his way sinister it's not gonna connect him though see it's just a red zone for sinister he just needs to at least play safe but what's happening here player four gets Hosaifa. GG, got the glory right now, being punished so hard. Stalwart Eastport as well, one-to-one -one exchange. So one knockdown to one knockdown between these two. Stalwart and uh, got the glory. You just have to watch these teams as well. But A1 doesn't want to let their guard down because uh, he knows that in his position, DRS is quite interested. And here comes the name. Somehow it did not connect onto Sinister at all. Oh my god, he survived from that grenade. That is something. That is definitely something. But that storm on a different angle. Rowdy on a complete different plane. Looking at Marcelo right now on the Team DRS side. A1 TMT versus DRS. Any at any point, at any time, it can happen. In fact, at any point, at any time, any team can in fact engage with another team. Because even if you look at the minimap, just look at how clusterized the situation is. How many teams are right together each other. There is no breathing space whatsoever. As soon as you're going to get out into the open, as soon as you're going to be spotted, you're going to be bombarded with the shots, bombarded with the sprays. And the only thing that you can do is pray that you don't get that knockout if you are in the open. Player number two, he jumps, and that was a wrong move. Instantly gets the knockdown on himself. This is what I was talking about. But at the same time, now getting knocked out is not that much uh, like of a bad thing because I, I, it is a saying that it doesn't matter where you get uh, like how you get knocked down but where you get knocked down because if you're in the open if you're getting flushed by that knocked out then it is a bad knocked out but SCE player one still trying to retaliate takes one down but instantly he is down on his knees as well leaving everything to the player number three he has to get into the car he has to move away he has to like uh, check where he's going which position he wants to take let's see Let's see from this point onward if he is going to be able to like get some more eliminations or some more position at least for his team or not because this is the fight for the top six. I'm so sorry for the camera guy. I know that this guy, the camera guy, is quite curious on uh, where is going to be the end point of that vehicle, of yeah. that car that is currently stretched right now, but you know, you cannot keep your eyes out because there's too many battles to see in this Miramar map. We can see here Killer trying to at least unleash his nades. He only, he only has three nades here, but we can see Guts and Glory tries to make a, trying to make a move. Star Wars Esports, yes, they are complete, but they lost two lives in the process. 14 points, still. They wanted to at least produce more points. They need to play it safe. Killer right now, not contented with three. They lost XMPL, and now they're regrouping in way below so they're gonna be rotating they're gonna be trying to get inside the circle this is the only safe space that they can think of right now they're just gonna wait for for someone to peek on the high ground and probably a, it's, it's gonna be a1 tmt so they have to be alert at all costs they have to to make sure that this is going to be the fight that is you know, winnable for them in order for them to to win. And okay, props to KS for making it to the top six. Two uh, placement points, not bad. He doesn't get any kills at all, but two points is still two points for him to to climb up. But we're gonna be focusing on T2K, DRS, Talwart, uh, Guts and Glory, and of course A1 TMT with the high chance of A1 TMT to get that chicken. But let's not forget T2K. They got denied of that chicken dinner in the first Miramar map. And this is going to be the redemption arc in order for them to get four chicken dinners in just one day. Oh, it definitely is because at this point, from this point onward, these guys, it's all up to these five guys, whether they're going to get the winner of a chicken dinner. Which one of them is going to get the winner of a chicken dinner is going to determine a lot of things. DRS, T2K, I'm still seeing these two teams uh, alive. And my instant thought when I see these two teams are that either one of these two teams uh, 
are you gonna get that whenever a chicken dinner but ste you cannot take them out of the competition yet one grenade one player knocked out team gg care less is on his knees and at the same time as soon as gg knight spots player number four he takes the charge he leads the charge get the knockdown on him as well but player Whoa. three with the grenades he's still getting those knockouts done on the players another one goes away a lot of damage comes into the play but knight uh, he's gonna heal himself he's gonna make sure that cairo is in the backside grenades are back to back uh, bursting down but uh, no connectivity that's the one thing you have uh, depleted all your throwables from this point on where the dbs is not He goes up, he takes a fight, they go into the pushback area. Now, as they're pushing in, a player oh. number four cannot defend against them and gets the confirmation on himself. Team Guts and Glory getting two more eliminations with a total of five to their name. Now, it's a fight for the top four. Well, all I can say about that fight, the king can now rest because, you know, player number three... Getting nine kills alone is quite insane in this map, you know. He contributed a lot of uh, elimination points for his team. Stalwart Esports now in the top three uh, position right now, but uh, we can see DRS. Okay, he oh. got eliminated for elimination. So still top two. T2K now. They're going to be getting that chicken. But Guts and Glory. Is this going to be the glory that they're looking for? All throughout this day, we can see Rowdy here. Oh, okay, he got punished here by Roots. Roots here. Is he going to pull the root out? And we can see Sinister tries to spray it out. D2K now out. This is going to be between Guts and Glory and A1 TNT. Okay, no more chicken dinner for, for D2K. Let's focus on GG and A1 TNT. Two knocked down on the side of A1 TNT. But oh, wow, Guts and Glory. Knight, with the final blow. Yeah. A beautiful winner, winner, chicken dinner. An amazing end to their days. Guts and glory it is with the eight elimination and a winner, winner, chicken dinner. A great start that they have got for themselves here. But how many individual kills, how many individual eliminations that they have secured for themselves? This is what I want to know first and foremost. Because out of the eight... Does everyone have four? Does everyone have two, in fact? But no, it is four for Knight, three for Hazefa, one for Careless. And that's a total of eight, but 1747 damage. With this winner with a chicken air, they have secured their third rank into the overall ranking. This was the match number six, but going to the MVP, it is the player number three. His grenades, his throwables, everything that he did. It was phenomenal. It was beautiful. Nine total eliminations, 1588 damage as a solo. This guy was on to something. This guy was on a different league. Two assists, 314 healing with 105 meters of the longest elimination distance. Well, that's what I said. Rest well, King, because I believe that he deserved that MVP. You know, getting nine elimination is hard. And, uh, you know, as you've said, the way he plays is phenomenal, okay? Now, going back, it's quite it's quite related because, you know, it's between the Guts and Glory and uh, Knight is just standing out, you know? He's the, uh, getting uh, eight elimination points and, of course, placement points still. 18 total points for Guts and Glory. So, with everybody saying Guts and Glory gets their chicken dinner, stalwart esports, being so aggressive on this uh, final Miramar map, still tied up. 18 total points as well. A1 TMT 14, DRS with 8. Of course, the rest do follow. IHG Esports 4, Hora for Miracle, and of course, Team Falcon. He got 3 points respectively. KS Axe, you know, this is why I'm so, so surprised because this guy, Wildcat. The only thing that he does is to to make sure that he's gonna make it towards the top six, and he did. Case acts two points thanks to the placement points, and uh, the only wildcat did is to survive because after all, this is all about survival. ASA and XI8 two points, and together with Major Pride and 
The rest of them, Regicide, Stronger, and Raw Esports is not gonna get any points at all. So what a game! What 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 a sandhawk map it is for us. This is how you close the qualifier round. This is just the first day. Six maps done, and we are still preparing for the other six maps. Still, these are the players that you need to watch out for. Roots, 16 kills. Huzaifa, 14. Player 3. You know, he, he introduced himself that, Hi, I can still make it to the top 3 here. Because I'm player 3. 12 points. Killer, 9. Player 1. Ooh, interesting take. 11 points. How many damage Roots has, been, has dealt all throughout the game? 3.3k. And of course, player number 3 as well. Dealing 2.5k. Not, uh, not quite far from Hosaifa's damage as well but you know Hosaifa he's one of the thrower guys 34 total throwables being uh, unleashed and, uh, all throughout this game yeah that's that's a huge number but going to the overall ranking guys DRS uh, securing that 50 point uh, marker still not able to compete with the t2k 73 they are still going to be on the top 23 points difference is still there three points for the guts and glory difference against the team drs right now with 47 points they are residing on the number three stalwarts esports 41 37 for a1 tmt then i at c 36 moving on on to the number seven to like a uh, number 10 i really want to see where like the rest of the teams are actually like uh, holding themselves at this point because the teams the players they're doing a great job they're doing an amazing job back to back getting those eliminations and i'm talking about all the teams that are actually like aggressing during all these matches it is a great number that they are doing but still still there's a lot of factors that needs to be taken into the consideration like there's still a tomorrow day there are still six more matches that they have to play they have to play it really good single match can either mean their destruction or or they're like uh, building blocks as well they can still like have a chance of uh, getting that top position maybe tomorrow 52 esports with 36 points 33 for team falcons there is raw with 33 for miracle vibes with 31 and these are the names so far that is eligible to the qualification of uh, league stage tomorrow we will see the changes in this and then we will see the final final number like uh, list of the teams that will be moving forward but uh, on the 11 it is r3g with three less points for the number 10 28 points in their name wow you know, you can see that this is just day number one, and uh, teams are just getting so much invested into getting those points. Stronger, 24 points. Hora, 22. KS Axe, 20. AS Agro XI8, 19. And of course, Major Private, 14. So, for me, I kind of like uh, the the bottom teams here, who's currently not qualified to, to pop off tomorrow on day number two, because probably they they might be uh, they they might not play well today but uh in tomorrow probably they might burst out and of course qualify their way through because uh this is where the real action starts this is just day number one i'm looking forward on how the south asia qualifiers is gonna conclude tomorrow torix Oh, I definitely want to see that too on how it is actually going to conclude. How the teams are actually going to like uh, make a comeback from today. What are they going to learn from today's mistakes? And they're going to implement it on tomorrow. But 17, it was 17 today and uh, the day number one for South Asia is done and dusted. We will see you guys tomorrow once again. Same timing, same place uh, with the same coster as well. Until then, have a beautiful night. Take care. And you two take care. Audience, take care as well. We will see goodbye now. Have a beautiful night. Take care. So one we want to see Eminem and the boy can go now. Give me some mega. Yes, he finds the way out of this. Or like this, this back of me. Global esports. Game देखने का इतना load. तो करना router download. Seven crore gamers and streamers are on router. Where are you? So one we want to see Eminem and the boy.
गेम देखने का इतना लोड तो कर ना रूटर डाउनलोड सेवन करोड़ गेमर्स एंड स्ट्रीमर्स आर ऑन रूटर वेर आर यू गेम देखने का इतना लोड तो करना रूटर डाउनलोड सेवन करोड़ गेमर्स एंड स्ट्रीमर्स आर ऑन रूटर वेर आर यू